Today is Tuesday. I think, yeah. Yeah, today is Tuesday. Fun fact about the day. Uh, it is Tuesday, um, which is funny because it's the number two day, uh, at least if you think that Monday is um, <clears throat> number uh, number one. Hello, if you're on the VOD channel, I appreciate you. This is the final day of the, uh, I don't even know what we'll call this. Uh, I, I guess on Twitch I've been calling it the Region Lock Countdown Challenge. That pretty much works, right? Yeah. I think that's an okay name. Although for the video itself, I probably won't call it that. I don't know. It's been fun though. And I'm looking forward to hopefully not completely choking. Although, uh, last time we struggled a little bit. We had, a, we had a few things go wrong. Did not go our way last time. Hello chat, good to see you all. How is everybody? I, I, I didn't have you guys pulled up yet, I'm late. Oh, there you are. There's everybody. You're new here. Welcome. Welcome, Kenna. Is that how I would say that? Good to see everybody. You love it so far? It just started. I haven't even done anything. I haven't even gotten into the triple digits of words said. Somebody on the VOD channel, count how many words I have said so far in this entire thing. Let me know if I was right or wrong there. But I think I want to just go directly into this as fast as possible. We, we talked about it at the end of last stream, what our goals were with this. Thank you, Colin, sir. No, not right now. Do you know no, about not, the legendary no, no. Joe German, High King of Skyrim? Do you know about the legendary Joe Joman? Of course I know about Joe Joman. We've, uh, we've raided into um, Milk streams a Thank few times. Thank you, time, sir. Missed the last few streams because I was moving house. It's good to relax with you again. By the title, I get it didn't run as planned i'm not sure what you mean what wait, what is the title region like countdown challenge finale or are you talking about the on the vod channel i didn't really know what to name the vod i i want i don't i don't really like i've kind of gone away from naming my vods just like strictly one two three four with like the same title in each one i kind of just had fun i guess titling them like they're each each one is kind of its own thing, if that makes sense. They'll always be in a uh, what's it called? Uh, they'll always be in like a playlist chronologically. But in terms of like actually them popping up, it'll be all right. Or it'll it'll like it'll be something unique each time. I don't know. I don't. I'm I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but uh, Cowboy Kitty, thank you for ten months. Dark Child, thank you for three months. Mega Knight, thank you for the Prime. Although that was three hours ago. That wasn't even on the... Wasn't even here. Hello, Juve. I've seen pretty much all your VODs, but I've never caught a stream. You're catching one now. You're catching one right now. Uh, so, oh, also, I'm an hour late today. I had to swap cars with my parents. I had to get Chick-fil-A because it sounded good. And it was, it was actually really good. I did enjoy it quite a lot. Went with the spicy deluxe. I gotta stop getting the deluxe at Chick-fil-A though because their lettuce fucking sucks. This is just a word of warning Thank you, kind sir. to anybody out there that's making spicy chicken sandwiches or a fried chicken sandwich. If you're gonna put lettuce on your chicken sandwich, it's gotta be the crispy cold lettuce. If it's the dark green wilted lettuce, it sucks. It's not good. Yeah, it's gotta be crisp. It's gotta, it's gotta snap. Not that wilted, especially if you like pick it up from a drive-through and you take it home. It's kind of been sitting there for a little bit on a warm patty. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No, no. We gotta, we gotta cut that out. We gotta get rid of that trash. Ollie Tree, thank you for the prime. <clears throat> I inspired your current Fallout 4 pipe weapons only run. Chick-fil-A is overrated. Popeyes is better. It is a little overrated. Uh, but it was very good today. It hit the spot. It hit the spot just right. It was exactly what I needed. Just a little, little bit of something quick while I ran a couple errands. Uh, I've also started learning. I spent a few hours this morning because I really want to try and start making my own animations 
in Creation Engine. And, or maybe not so much in Creation Engine, but I've been playing around with Blender a lot because I want to, uh, I want to implement like characters from Creation Engine and like export their assets and their skeleton and everything into Blender so that I can do, you know, some fancy stuff with it. Today was just like my first day of learning how to do it, but I did get an entire character imported into Blender and there's still a lot more that I have to learn. Uh, but I have seen what other people have done, what my friend has done, and it's really, really cool. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks here, I'm able to have that figured out so that in future videos we can do some really fancy, um, really fancy uh, animations and stuff. Ever watch Inferno Plus videos? Uh, Inferno does like the mods, right? They do um, not chaotic Halo, cursed Halo. Is that what it is? I think it's is is cursed Halo the one that they've done. I remember watching their video a while ago on Dark Souls. I believe it was cursed Dark Souls, something like that. And it was like Dark Souls with like Halo weapons and rocket launchers up. and plasma grenades, just a bunch of funny stuff. And I remember way back then, I think it was before I had ever even done a Skyrim video, or maybe it was like right when I was first doing it. And Thank you, kind sir. I was like, wait, I want to cover this. Bias this looks really fun. Biasura, biasura. The annoying fan. Username checks out. I appreciate it. Thank you for three months. Nerdfighter, thank you for three months as well. How many hours are left on the timer? Chip in. We have about Chip in. three hours. Chip in. Three hours and 16 minutes, 23.06 seconds exactly. That's how much time we have left. Starting to record. Right there. I'm going to boot up this game. The Orphaneer is the greatest character arc of all time. I agree. At least on, I, I think in a vacuum, moment to moment, I think that that's the funniest sequence that's ever been on my channel. That's just my opinion, though. Of like all the stuff that I've made, I think the Orphaneer uh, arc of that one video is probably like the funniest 12 minutes on my entire channel. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like, it's, there's very few. Times where like I can rewatch something over and over and over while putting it together and still laugh at certain moments. I've rewatched that one a few times and it's still really funny. Like it, it will still make me laugh if I go back and watch it, which is very rare for a lot of stuff. Just because I'm like. I'm trying to think of it like. I've seen the movie. I've seen the movie Airplane a ton of times, right? And the first few times. It was very, very funny. Um, but if I watched it again, I would pretty much know everything that's going to happen. And I would probably chuckle at a few things. But you, you see what I'm saying? Is that Jabbo in the top part? Of yeah, that's Jabbo and Mickey D. They're hiding up in the window. They're trying to get on the set. Oh, crap. My, my, I, my, I, so I have my camera on a new thing. It's not perfect. So there's a little tiny portion of my desk floating here. He's just a new member of the stream. We'll let him hang out. This little, this little piece of my desk that's showing. Screw it. The rest of it looks okay. I'm in my comfy clothes today. I'm wearing sweatpants and this oversized sweater. Let's do this. Okay, so we mentioned at the end of last stream... I'm trying to remember what I wanted to do precisely, what my exact goal was after we finished the quest that we did. We finished Perry 8's quest. We have a new god that we are Thank worshiping. You, kind sir. How are you today, Juve? How am I, Crazy Kevin? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Right here is where we left off. Am I excited for Halloween? I'm not a big Halloween guy. I love the weather. I love the time of year. Um, I love the seasons changing. But I'm not a big Halloween person in general. Hair is looking great today. Thank you. I actually really did like the haircut I got. Um, I'll start the timer as soon as I start to actually begin playing again. I think the first thing we want to do is head back to Markarth, do some inventory management, 
load up on potions if we can, spend a lot of our money if we can. What was the quest for the Golden Dwarven Horse? A lot of people suggested that quest, the Golden Horse, the Dwarven Horse. They said that the dungeon is terrible, it's gonna take forever, but I think that that would be a really fun one to just, just like, yeah, Forgotten Seasons. I think that that would be a really fun one to level up our character, grind a little bit, and just experience another piece of content in this region. West of Bard's Leap. The Bard's Leap is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is... Hmm? Oh, Bar it literally says on the map, <laughs> Bard's Leap Summit, it's right there. So it's west. Do I have to just go into the dungeon or do I have to actually find uh, a quest? Levis, good to see you again. Skyrim on Switch has the easiest lock picking ever, the vibrating control. What? Skyrim on Switch has vibrating? No, 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 no. That's, that, so Dying Light did the same thing where your right trigger would vibrate or your left trigger would vibrate to indicate which direction you should go. That's cheating. Sorry. That's cheating. It ruins the entire mini game. You're all a bunch of cheaters. You go into the dungeon to start the quest. Okay, what is the name, or what is the name of the dungeon I'm looking for? We're gonna go Markarth, head back down this road, look for the dungeon west of Bard's Leap Summit. I would assume it's probably on this road that we haven't explored a whole lot. We're back in, game on, timer on. Let's run it. I don't know why it's so foggy today, but the fog looks amazing. I like to make fun of Morrowind for covering the map in so much fog, but I do actually like it. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know why, fog is just a vibe. It's very cozy. Especially when trees have to pop in. It's nice if they can pop in after the fog clears. Runoff Caverns. Okay, I feel like maybe I've already found it. Runoff Caverns. Twin Iron, Reach and Rock, Reach Cliff, Gloom Reach. No, I haven't. And I still haven't gone to Four Skull Lookout, even though I've said I would. Allie! Th did I get that right? Is it Allie? Uh, once again, apologies that my text to speech on donations still doesn't play through. I'm a bad streamer scold me but i appreciate that alley thank you for being a vod sleeper i woke up to the vod channel again the other night i just get secondhand embarrassment whenever i do like i try to immediately switch it to something else and fall back asleep but then i guess i ruined my own watch time don't i should i just let it play out you're not gonna find the cavern on the road it's in the southern yeah, so I figure I would probably find it somewhere around here. We'll just look for the cave symbol when we get close. We did find at the end of the last dungeon, which was massive, uh, we got, what's it called, Spellbreaker. So we'll be able to combine Spellbreaker, likely with our staff. It should buy us a few seconds whenever we get into another really tough fight. Red Eagle is gonna be the first true test. So we go Markarth, Inventory Management, Potions, Stock Up, Forgotten Seasons. See how long it takes us in Forgotten Seasons? If we hit the 14 hour mark while doing Forgotten Seasons, I'm gonna cancel it. And then we're gonna move on to try and kill Red Eagle before the 15 hour deadline. I don't have to do the final boss before 15 hours, but 15 hours is when there's a complete cutoff and I can no longer train, level up, loot, anything. So we're gonna wanna make sure to at least be done with Red Eagle with about 15 minutes to spare so I can do one last shopping trip in Markarth. Cause if I run out of food or something before going to the final boss, that would suck. I lost time being a coward. Can almost guarantee Forgotten Seasons will take two to three hours. What? Okay, now I have to see it then. For how much hype you all are giving it, I have to see Forgotten Seasons. 
Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Very good. Uh, 150 health is pretty solid. I feel like I've been running low on magic, but this level, let's take another buff to our health. We're almost at level 18. Do I want to go? What, what do I have to be? Okay, we have to get smithing. I should try to aim to get smithing up three more levels. Being able to temper one more level could help us out quite a bit, but I'd have to find another set of scaled armor or better. Power attacks with two-handed weapons deal extra damage to targets that are power attacking. Don't like that one very much. We have to time it perfectly. Critical attacks with great swords deal three times more damage. Yeah, we have to take that. Because we did find a pretty good dwarven great sword last time we played. Yeah, where is he? Clepper? You got for sale. Need to load up on food. As much as I can. Seared slaughterfish. Ooh, he doesn't really have a lot of food. Baked potatoes? Why do baked potatoes not even help? It's a very filling starch. Only had enough food just to fill me up for the day. Let's see those storm cloaks try to break into this canyon. Are you sure you want to invite them? There's been quite a few that I've seen. Ah, you know what I wanted to do? <clears throat> we need an enchanting table. So we're going to hit here first, Understone Keep. Let's hit the enchanting table. There's a ton of stuff that I want to disenchant. That was a lot of the loot that we saved up in the last cavern. Hoping we get a few levels here. Oh God, yeah, we have a ton. Nord War Axe of Chills. Wait, why did I get like no XP for that? <laughs> I got hardly any. Poison resistance, I want to keep that. Remedy. There's the XP. Did that just go up three levels? From 17 to 20? Ring of Minor Stamina. I'm sticking with the Ring of Namira. So we'll disenchant. Conjuring. Disenchant. Steel Sword of Shocks. Disenchant that. Yeah, we're getting a lot of levels here. Elven Shield of Waning Frost. <sighs> I, I feel like that could be good against Red Eagle, but I am going to be using the other shield, which is in general magic resistance. So we'll disenchant that. Hide Helmet of Archery. We'll disenchant that. All the way up to 26. Very good. Banded Iron Armor of Minor Restoration. Yeah, we'll do that. Would it be nice if I could buff my restoration skill at all? Apprentice Hood. I'm going to keep that. Magicka by 40. Poison Resistance 50. Destruction Spells cost less. We'll disenchant that. I'm still sticking with Ring of Namira. Ring of Sneaking. Disenchant that. All the way up to Enchanting 32 and another level up. Big time. And I cut down on quite a lot of weight that I was carrying. So we want to upgrade. I'm going to sell these and then we want to upgrade the leather boots that we're wearing. Are there any spells? I don't think there's any spells that I want to get. I'm, go I'm good with my set spells that I have. It might be worthwhile to try and use uh, the upgraded solar flare. I'm Let me double check that again, actually. If I go into... Can I go to destruction? Ooh, I have to get it to 50 to take elementalist rank 2. So restoration, we're probably going to be able to take healer rank 2. And our healing spell is going to be way cheaper. So if we can get there, that's a huge upgrade. Let's do our equipment now. Need a new blade. Actually, let's just double check what we need to upgrade our boots. Leather. And we can do it. Then I want to upgrade my sword. Dwarven greatsword. Dwarven metal ingot. That takes us from 34 to 40 damage. Got an axe here. Take a look. Dwarven metal ingot, just need one of them. Looking to protect yourself or deal something. And then damage. I should deal out what's it called? 
Got a few things that I can probably sell. Yeah, goat hide, don't need it. Leather, do I even need leather? It's just taking up weight. Let's ditch it. Leather strips, let's get rid of it. Steel dagger of ice, don't need it. Hide boots, yeah, we want to get rid of those. Until next time. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, big buff to our main melee. Um, <clears throat> how much money do I have? 2685. Let's buy as many potions as we can. I might have to consolidate and or sell off a lot of my ingredients. There's so much the to about the shop. So, you're, you're interested in my potions sleep. and ingredients? You gotta have some healing, don't you? Plentiful healing? 150 for each one. I feel like that's not a terrible deal. Uh, there goes about all my money on potions. Uh-oh. Completely restore Magicka. That's really good. Extra Magicka. That just increases the maximum. I'm going to buy that. Some people might call me crazy. I don't really care. More healing. Potion of health. Yeah, we'll buy that. Now let's see what we can sell. Blacksmith's Draft. Uh, I should have... Should have used those before upgrading, but we got to get moving. Resist shock. I'll keep that just in case. Ditch that one. Keep cure disease, even though, my God, Periite will be upset with me. True shot. I feel like it might be not a bad idea. I'm going to favorite true shot just so that I remember that I have it. Because it could come down to me needing to wow. take a potion of true shot and then get like a sneak attack with a bow. Thank you, kind sir. really don't have a lot of good ingredients. Blue Mountain Flower. Uh, what in here does health? I don't think I have much that does health. Sorry, Chad. I have to be a little bit locked in here. Trying to go through my ingredients. Need to keep an eye out for butterflies while we're on the road. I have. Take a look. So let's consolidate and sell anything that I don't immediately know how to use. Purple Mountain, uh, Red Mountain, we'll keep those. Uh, these are stamina, so we'll keep the Saber Cat Tooths. Salt Piles, keep those in case I need to cook. Get rid of the rest. Damn, I'm all the way down to 600 gold. I have herbs to <clears throat> Let's go take our next level up. Out of the way. So there's one thing that I really think I should be aiming for. Ah, you know what I need to do? I'm going to go buy a Soul Trap spell. Before we get out of here, we're going to buy Soul Trap Thank and you maybe some empty sir. Soul Gems. We got to fill up our Soul Gems for the big fight. We're going to need to refill a lot of enchanted gear. I want to enchant my Great Sword. Might hold off so that we can get a better enchantment on it. But if I'm going to be using the Great Sword a lot, might as well give it a little bit of a magic boost. And then afford ourselves the ability to constantly refill it. Because we are going to hit a point where we cannot refill. Don't you have a Staff of Soul Trap? Um, I do. Staff of Soul Trapping. Staff of the Spectral Direwolf. You are correct. I will save the money. Let's just buy some empty Soul Gems. I'm Calselmo's nephew. Yeah, you're right. You're not You're not the guy I want to talk to. Okay. I had you figured for a maid. I think you'll appreciate this. Common. Common filled. Common, greater empty, lesser empty, petty empty. I guess we'll buy the greater soul gem. And now I'm down to six gold. I can't even pay for rent or food. That's going to be a problem. You should see that orc over in uh, Helen of Troll, thank you for gifting a sub. Dr. Thornton, thank you very much for the prime. Good luck with the stream today. Thank you, Dr. Thornton. I hope that my... No, probably didn't get two levels. But all the enchanting levels we just got was good XP. Let's go, Magicka. One more perk to take. 
Thank you. Jam it, you created sir. 25% stronger. I'm going to take Hello, it. Hello, Juve. Hello, chat. Six months until a Twitch baby. What are you at? Three months, Mayhem? Four months. Oh, so only five months. They don't like us talking. Is this more pay to win? This is not uh, pay to win. Exclamation point rules if you'd like a little bit of uh, detail on sort of where we're going. We've only got a few hours left, so I'm pretty much just going to be completely locked into the game today. Now that we did all that annoying crap, do a hard save. That was one of the most efficient inventory management runs I think we've ever had. We've seen a good amount of bears. We've seen some saber cats. Let's keep an eye out for them. Soul trap them. Gosh, I should probably just soul trap a chicken, shouldn't I? We want to follow this road. East. About until we're at Old Hrul. No, we want to take it. We want to take the first right. Take that road into the wilderness. Well, let's just keep ourselves prepared. Staff of soul trapping. Let's get it ready. How many gems do we have? We have three common, a Varla. Oh, I have so many gems that I could have sold. No, no, I forgot to sell these. That would have been so worthwhile to do. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and do it. Let's speed things up just a tad. Worth every second. Hope you have some warm clothes for one section of the dungeon. Don't, I, I don't wanna know anything. AJ, I don't want any spoilers. I wanna go into this. Completely fresh. No, I some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. All right, back up to 756 gold. Let's see if she has any food. No food. Come back whenever you so I'm going to do something really dumb here. We're going to pay rent. Uh, do I refresh? No, this guy has food. Cooked catfish, cooked beef. Raw beef, seared slaughterfish, venison. Cooked rabbit. Pheasant breast, not cooked. I always confuse it. Mammoth stout, we can probably cook that, right? We just need salt. Come back when you need more meat. Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong. This is the Silver Blood Inn. This is the Silver Blood Inn. Just need your cooking pot. We drink to our youth. Today is come and gone for the age of aggression. I feel like I've never heard this accent while they sing the song. My father Clepper is the one drive out. Drive out the storm cloaks. And the something, they something. She still has no money, right? Are you looking for beautiful things for beautiful Yeah, 50 gold. I don't get you, Kara. Kara, you confuse me. Do I have a filled? I only have filled. Oh my gosh, I have so many empty soul gems. The only ones that are filled are petty. So before we enchant our sword or any of the other armor we have, what do we have? Bracers, armor. I don't know what the stone of the forebearers is. Linen cloak, can I enchant that or is that cheating? I feel like that would be cheating if I did. Mid vibrato, don't talk shit about my vibrato. Salt is like the glue in, that's actually a pretty apt comparison. Cave bears feel common, how many common do we have? Three, yeah, we, we just have plenty. I'm gonna just have to try and soul trap everything that I can. So I'm going to spend at most, I think I'm going to count out, I'm going to count us out of this quest for the magical golden horse, maybe at 13 hours 30, just so that we can ensure we have more than enough time to kill Red Eagle, hopefully, and do one last round of inventory management. Let's make sure we have our healing potions, favorited, plentiful healing, healing, healing. My favorites menu is tragic. 
does it drive you all crazy when I open up, like, because I do, I go through my favorites menu a lot. <clears throat> I have to use it quite often. I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm a big fan. I know a lot of people don't really like Morrowind Combat, but I really like Morrowind Combat, which is a lot of diving into your inventory and kind of applying potions or trying to, like, just apply whatever you can to best take out whatever enemy it is. And I feel like this is a similar... Is it this cave up here? What's crazy is you don't hop bar anything. Is that a thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this down here? <laughs> Did I never notice that? It's been under me the whole time. There's a hot bar. What the fuck? How did I? Huh? So wait, wait, if I hold. No way. I just got to hit a number. So then, okay, so one will be sword. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Uh... Spellbreaker 2. And then I guess we can go Elemental Flare 3. Thank you, kind sir. Have a great stream. No. Okay, but it's gonna it's gonna throw Elemental Flare for some reason into my left hand. Don't like that. We'll work on it. Looks like it's this cave up here. Possibly. Butterflies. Gotta watch out for butterflies. If I must, if I miss a butterfly, scream at me. Hit three twice. <gasps> that is amazing. I never knew that. Fox. Okay, this can be our first. Could probably be our first soul trap. Oh, damn. Do I have to actually hit it? Got it? That gets my light armor skill up? Soul captured. Wonderful. Okay, there's a saber cat over there. I'm gonna try and soul trap this goat, because I think the saber cat might try and kill it first. Or me! Or it's gonna kill me first. Okay, it went for the goat. Soul captured. Oh, damn it, he's killing all my soul trappables. Why is the saber cat? Uh, there's a second saber cat up there. Falling off the. Easy, Mr. Cat. Christ. How am I going to take two of them on? I might have to just go for the kill here. I don't really want to start burning into my potions just for this fight. Yeah, one's dead. Maybe I can soul trap the second one. Already hungry again. Is he behind me? Ho! Stamina. We'll take the tooth. I'll skip the pelt. All right, let's try and we'll go that. Let's go spellbreaker. Got him. Now he's tagged. We got some magic back. A cord on my headphones is getting in the way. Got him. Soul captured. Perfect. Now we've got... We've got a lesser... 
Seven petty filled. Really? This is only a lesser soul? Eef. That makes me, that doesn't make me feel too confident. Okay, just since we did that and we're still in the open world, which is where a lot of my crashes take place, I'm gonna save. Shrine of Mara. That's blasphemous. Why would I pray to Mara? I'm a pure Perryite follower. I've always been a big fan of Perryite. You know, Perryite doesn't really understand the love that I have, but one of these days they'll get it. Pure water run. Okay, this is not where I need to go. This is not the right cave. At least I could just say that I discovered it. For the love of Mara, shut up and let's get this over with. That's the only thing I know about Mara. Is that another one? Of, there's another cat. Why do they keep spawning? Let's try and take advantage. It's a pretty nice little island. I counted. Okay, so this does have some range. Hit the rocks. My investments in stamina are really paying off. Mobility starting to get really good. Jump off the rock. Nowhere to go. Got another soul. Yeah, it's a lesser. That's also stamina. So maybe it's this little uh, dwarven thing. I mean, it is a dwarven horse, right? So I assume it is a dwarven uh, dungeon. Yikes, let's not break our legs now. Any food? <gasps> wheat! Massive! Tell me they have more wheat. Salt piles, those are good. But I'd rather get more wheat. Because we have enough blue mountain flowers to just go right in here and create some more healing potions. Yeah, I'm gonna rob the orc stronghold just real quickly. Let me speedrun larceny. Stamina potion, wonderful. No skill books. I gotta check all their sacks. Nothing like digging through an orcish sack, am I right, chat? How we doing? How we doing? Good to see ya. Somehow they didn't see that. I don't know how I got away with that one, but I'll take it. This has got to be some of the most efficient Skyrim I have ever played in my life. I'm a man on a mission. That's an anniversary player home. Okay, so I'm not going perfectly in the right direction, but I think I am still just going to keep following this road. Everybody said that it is west of the... What's it called? Watch out for bugs. Oh, don't tell me it's like the flying mosquito ones. Those things are like the Cazador of this game. I thought they were only in the Forgotten Vale. What was that? What the hell was that? The whole thing just started shaking. You were right, there's bugs here. Okay, it's only a spider. Let's try and take advantage and uh, soul trap this spider if we can. It's a, oh crap, it's a giant frostbite spider. Do not be confused. Oh my God, you got way too close, way too quickly. <laughs> Wait, no, spiders in Skyrim are not that scary. They shouldn't be. Either way, let's play it safe and maybe trail it back to the orc stronghold, soul trap it, let the orcs take care of business, pop inside one of the orc houses. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to pop in and get a checkpoint. Skyrim has like, they somehow hit the perfect level of spider design to where it doesn't trigger arachnophobia, at least as much as spiders do in other games like Grounded. If you've ever played Grounded, holy shit, the spiders in that game. Uh, but the spiders in Skyrim have always been sort of, eh, not too bad. <clears throat> I 
Get a little bit of warmth back. It hits from that far. Brilliant. Wow, look at all the health on that bad boy. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. Oh. It just was, I didn't expect it to fill the whole screen. I didn't expect that. Thank God I went and got myself a checkpoint. Whew. Okay, all right, sorry, Mr. Spider. I will not fuck with the spiders anymore. Wow. This is our one hit. Leave. Oh, one hit though. That's disappointing. Whew. Holy crap. I don't want to turn around. It's going to fill my whole screen again. Help me, help me, Orcish family. Yes, 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 yes. Get on out there. Where is that big old spider? I'm stuck. I'd like to get up. There we go. Did he kill any of the orcs? How did none of you die and he one hits me? We'll take the soul. What did it fill? That doesn't even fill a common. Ugh. I think I have a new fear. I'm, I think I'm officially afraid of giant frostbite spiders. Arcing signs. Oh, wolf. Okay, just a regular old wolf, no big deal. I actually let the wolf kind of jump scare me, though. Where'd it go? Another soul. Nine petty, three lesser. Arcing Thams, this is not the one that I want, right? For the gold, uh, the gold horse. <clears throat> okay, it's a cave. All right. Keep an eye out for a cave. Why is my light armor increasing? Usually that means something's attacking me. Gotcha. I caught you, you bastard. I'm gonna get a disease from this little fucker, aren't I? Why does the whole screen keep shaking? What is going on out here? I don't like it. Diseases are good? Oh, that's right. Yeah, wait, my my lord and savior Perry, I does in fact love if I get diseased. Got it. Another soul. Got another one. Three lesser, 12 petty. Only got one petty that still needs to be filled. That's still a decent amount and it's gonna help us refill a lot of our rechargeables. 
Maybe not so much the sword, but we do know that that one fireball staff that we have is really keen to being refilled fast. Why am I so terrified right now? How many bird nests? There's so many bird nests out here. <clears throat> like there's a, there's been like seven or eight that we passed. I'm a serial monotheist. I haven't heard that term since I was in a theology class. All right, I think it might be this cave up ahead. I'll discover the entrance to this location. Maybe not quite go in. Let's get one more of our petty souls filled. Okay, we've got all of our petties filled. Valthume, or Valthum. Is there anybody at the front door? No one at the front door? Let's take a checkpoint. Oh, what do you want? Leave, stranger. Evil stirs in this place. I fear for the security of the very land. We stand at the tomb. Uh, by now. Blah, 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 blah. You're not the final boss. I don't care about you. You won't get me a golden horse. There is so much content in this portion of the game. Is there a dragon priest in here? Why is this not the final boss? Why did I decide on a final boss that's not in this region? I don't care. No, 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 no. We have our final boss because it's on the map, okay? <laughs> the final boss is there. That's where it's gotta be. Although this region is incredible. Uh, what is that down there? It's a troll. I'm gonna have to kill it. We got a checkpoint anyway. Let's try and soul trap this troll. You know what, let's do a dire wolf. Really haven't used a dire wolf at all. Could be a great distraction. Why? Why are you leaning forward? Holy Christ, that critical strike. Did anybody see how much damage that critical strike did? It was nearly the entire health bar. Trolls Bane? Burns trolls for 15 points. Can I disenchant that? Regardless, I'm taking it. Also, Direwolf? Uh, pretty good. That was crazy damage. Just popping in to say hi and good luck with the challenge. I've got to study today, but we'll catch up on the VOD channel. Then White Duke, appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. I'm, I'm getting really stressed out. We're already at two and a half hours remaining. It just, the time goes by so quickly. I'm gonna miss this character though. We're finally getting to a point where we're kicking ass, but every fight is very lethal. Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh my God, I died. What a ridiculous way to get myself set back. This is why I give myself checkpoints. Because holy crap, that would have been way too much progress to lose. I don't know, have I ever died mountain climbing? It's a very rare occurrence. But this gives me another opportunity to show off that critical damage again. Direwolf, this thing has a lot of uses. This whole staff. I'm gonna die again. Dire wolf, save me. Shoot the fucking thing. How long does it take to charge up?
Boom. That filled. Don't tell me that filled up. That filled the lesser. Give me a break. A lesser soul gem is what we get filled. Troll's Bane is good, though. It's two handed right in our wheelhouse. Okay, let's climb up this mountain, but do it smart this time. All right, I need y'all to let me know if this is the right cave. Runoff caverns? I think that's it, isn't it? This is it? All right, runoff caverns. We have an hour in this cave. I have, or, all right, maybe I'll let it get to 14 hours, but I, I gotta call it very shortly. No clue how big this cave is. <sighs> if it's a cave where me going in means I can't go out, I'm gonna have to give myself a save here. Cause I will cancel this excursion. Is this gonna kill me? Green water can't be good for me. Uh, green water, it's gotta be bad for us, right, Crabbo? Eh, he's all right. The armor blocked any potential damage. Requires a key. Oh, I've been in here a long time since I've been in here, but I have been in here. Is this a friendly little robot? Not a friendly robot. See, tell me that's not satisfying as hell though, chopping the top half of that spider. And it just goes flip. Go four with fast healing. God, I could I could have shaved off an extra thirty minutes of my uh, entire playthrough. Mercenary's note. Of course, it's covered. Two days. Blah 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 blah. Whole thing. Need to somehow get that bridge down. Shouldn't be wasting my time doing this, but I will. You all know I live for lockpicking. All right, how bad can it be in here? You guys have been hyping this up quite a lot. Ugh, Dwarven Ballista? That's gonna one-hit me, isn't it? It's gonna shoot fairly slowly. Doesn't see me yet. Oh, now it does. Yeah, pretty uh, good armor. Let's try and close the gap. Ow. Ballista penetrated armor. I'm probably dead. Get around this corner. I need to get a critical hit. Oh, I somehow got behind it. Ha ha ha! Fall, bastard! How does that thing look up and shoot? It, it doesn't have, there's no way it can look up and shoot the way it's built mechanically, not possible. Once again, I've been cheated out of success. This guy all the way over there. Can I just like speed run my way? Can I just jump on down there and see what's going on? Yeah, now we're playing at a high speed. 
I like the quick menu because I do need to pause in combat and think sometimes. Just gotta push him. Critical. Need a critical. Ah, you bastard. Got him. It wasn't pretty. It certainly was not pretty. The animations don't really like to play well when uh, my character is stumbling. But at least we killed one. Dead body, treasure chest. Filled greater soul gem. All right, maybe I need to kill more of these. However, I'm not going to be able to kill that many of them in one go without a checkpoint. Waning magic, magicka resistance by 12%. That's pretty damn good. Absorb 15 points of health. That's also fantastic. I think that might be what I should be putting on this sword. Right? If it could just be a vampire sword. I think I've mostly got spiders down here on this level. Common, but not filled. Common filled. Um, okay, I also just realized I'm making a huge mistake. We're gonna go into our quick menu again. We're gonna favorite that dire wolf, throw it on his five. I'm gonna have to use Conjuration because I need a tank to help me out in certain battles. But this dungeon itself could be really big for our Enterprise. Because if I'm continually grinding and finding new soul gems that I can fill up my things with, I mean, look, look at the bottom right of my screen. Look how much charge one use of this is. It's like nothing. I got maybe 20 more summons. I'm not sure why that didn't cross the path though. I wonder if there's something on this first level I need to hit. I'm hungry. Let's get a bite to eat. Just in case this nukes my game. Wonderful. Love that animation. Incredibly immersive. Maybe something outside like chat has been saying. What's what quest starts outside? All right, I'll go outside. We got a few enemies killed though. Good start. Sorry, Chad, I have to be locked in. We, we're low on time. But Juve, you ignoring Chad so that you can be focused on your gameplay has made you miss an objective, hence wasting the time that you care so much about. True, fair. Activate broken dwarven horse. The dwarven horse, quest started. Recover the left back leg of the dwarven horse, right back leg, left front leg, right front leg, head. Oh God, this is gonna be awful. That it? That the whole quest? It is a skill issue. This quest is crazy long. Oh man. Pressure's on then, isn't it? There's no quest marker either. How dare you, Skyrim? Me when me uh, me when Skyrim doesn't have the the quest marker. Me when Skyrim does have a quest marker. Like for more relatable content. How will this horse help you? Um, it's cool. Rule of cool: a giant metal golden horse is awesome. I shouldn't have laughed at that meme. Bottom text. 
oh my gosh this is so skyrim bottom bottom text um hashtag relatable uh hashtag uh views from morrowind hashtag l hashtag ratio hashtag parry better i'm gonna die no i'm not i'm faster than you this is just training my restoration skill Okay, so if I go one and then back to one again, it throws back on my healing. Wonderful. Uh, I gotta check him for filled soul gems. Have to stock up on soul gems. Nope. Glad I checked. This is so eye funny coded. What is coded the same as energy? Are we moving on from describing things as, as having blank energy to now being blank coded? Ocean of healing. My goal in this cave is to just completely avoid using healing potions. Stick to what I'm good at, dwarven sphere. I can kill a dwarven sphere. I can definitely kill one. As long as it's just one. Looks like this room is a maze and his pathing is going to be damn near exact. Yeah. We have a huge advantage in this room. Two dwarven spheres. As long as I jump to another level, they're going to get really confused and have to reroute. Now that they're confused and they're rerouting, I'll be getting my Magicka back. While I hop over here, ooh, we have a tactical advantage on this little rock here. So let's go with our Dire Wolf, get him happy over there, and then we flank. Missed! Keep them confused. Keep looping them. Oh, absolutely bamboozled. Don't have enough magic, though. Jump the thing. Throw out our wolf. One down. Two down. Would have liked to have gotten a critical hit earlier. But at the end of the day, job well done. What's that, chat? Are you feeling, uh... <clears throat> are you feeling a little confident in my skill right now? I think, uh, if I were you, I'd be feeling a little bit nervous for people who have been betting against me. All right, there's a switch over here I assume I gotta hit. Get out of the way. You're no longer needed. Give me XP before you die. Stop. Get, get back here. Okay, apparently, I can't assault my dog. What the hell did that do? Oh, this whole quest is a giant puzzle dungeon, isn't it? Petty soul gem. Up there, there's a switch. Lowers that bridge. I need to get a checkpoint. That was a really key fight that we just won. It's a switch. I swear, I just saw... Big boss battle? Don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm going to save just in case we crash, but this is not technically a checkpoint. I got to get through him. Something else just popped out, wants to fight. 
Let's take care of anything little real quick. We're gonna lose some time here, though. I'd rather lose a little bit of time and keep the progress from that fight we just won. It's just a spider worker. I mean, as, as soon as the big guy uses his steam ability, we're dead. loading screen tell me this is a checkpoint give me a checkpoint locked wait that's not the way I came in the way I came in is over here stick man we already discussed this is not saves coming because if you think about it in terms of the whole challenge being timed and me having a limited amount of time if I have to waste some time and burn some time that kind of exists as me buying a checkpoint. Because if I die to the big guy out in this next room, I can sleep. Sleeping is fair play. So glad that we invested in all of the uh, stamina buffs and having so many stamina enchantments equipped. We need to get to. Yeah, I'd like to get this. We need to get agility. Unfortunately, we have to get to level 90, which probably isn't going to happen. I'd like to have our running speed buffed again. But if all I can buff is stamina regen, that's still going to be really good. That's how we get the level up. I just went to sleep. That was a waste of time. Um, all right, the best way for us to take out this robot, we're gonna have to go. I have no arrows. I have zero arrows. Because we won't be able to get any sneak attacks on him. I got an idea. I have a really stupid idea, chat. Let's see if this works. <laughs> this could be dumb, but maybe it works. Come on, Skyrim physics. All right, well, not what I was looking for. Let's let him walk across just a bit more. Now he's on this side. Catapult. Holy shit. Okay, now he's stuck up here. <laughs> Well, how did I time that perfectly? No, I wanted him to catapult up and then fall down to take fall damage. So I'm going to try and time this perfectly again. Set it down and then fling it back up and hopefully he takes some damage. I, I mean, I guess we might as well do a little bit of damage. Dull Golder, thank you for the tier one. All right, well, here goes nothing. This is for science. I cannot believe we got him to do that. Oh, that's such trash. Of course, of course it backfires. It's gonna be on the other side of this thing. Slowly, now he's moving to the right. Now he's moving to the left. Of course it backfires. I had him right where I wanted him to be. Let's get our direwolf out there. And now let's run. Direwolf, protect me. God, I love this game. I fucking love this game. What's up, Centurion? Whoop. Can't fit through that door. I know you can't fit through that door. He can't fit through that door, right? He can't.
can't fit. I'm killing him. I'm killing him. I haven't killed a centurion this entire time, and even if it requires some cheese, I do not care. for me to ever kill a centurion we'll get some destruction xp as well double check i don't get flanked by any of his minions i'm so mad the catapult didn't work though do you know how incredible that would have been if the catapult worked I think that's the second centurion we've killed though on this character i could be wrong main reason i wanted to kill him run off caverns gate key grand soul gem eh it's actually not as good as i thought we'll take the glass arrows because they're decent i was hoping we'd get a filled soul gem perchance there's one in here dwarven armor of destruction metal ingot steel sort of arcing Target takes 10 points of shock damage, half as much magicka. Ah, uh, that's a little disappointing. You can't soul trap uh, dwarven automations, can you? Automatrons. Take the armor. It's super heavy. I can't care. I don't have enough room for it. They are metal. So, yeah, you're right. They don't have souls. I could really use a checkpoint here. They won't have anything. One gold. Now I'm scared. Now we're risking a ton of progress. Two hours 44, we got two hours 15 minutes left. What does this do? Don't do anything stupid. Okay, lowers one half of the bridge. I bet I have to go down and around, and then I get the other half of the bridge. As long as I keep playing it smart, we've been okay so far. Lots of spider spawns down there. Let's see if we can get our dog to activate them. Nothing. Could have sworn I just saw a trap. God, my wolf about just knocked me off the ledge. Okay, let's head down here. Probably, yeah, I probably gotta hit that switch, but the second I do, there's gonna be spiders all around me. Don't, it's another centurion. Give me a break. Centurion's here. He's pissed. Looks like there are spiders down there for sure. Oh, that poor dog. Decent damage to the Centurion. Can he follow us all the way up here? I don't know if it matters. We got the bridge up. Let's just, ah, uh, do I? 
Do I want to kill another Centurion? I kind of want to. I, I feel like killing another Centurion is worth it just on the off chance he drops an entire filled, you know, grand, greater soul gem. Where is he? All the way on the ground? I need a favorite fireballs. F put that one on six. Ah, oh, you bastard. Don't, don't, no. Stay right where I can kill ya. Anybody in here have a fear of heights? You have arrows now? Ah, you're right, I do. I wonder if I can lose aggro. Looks like we can. Nice, let's lose aggro on him. Missed. I fucking missed. <laughs> of course I did. That's a good hit. Good damage. Holy crap, I am useless with this thing. Every time I look over the ledge, I'm risking falling to my death. Right, underwhelming. Underwhelming. But I don't care. Useless. Filled common, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Empty grand. I'll take the elven arrows. But again, blech. Not what we want. Nothing, nothing, nothing. In one checkpoint, though, killing two Dwarven Centurions, two Roly Boys, a couple Spiders. We're moving at a really good clip. I feel pretty confident with the loadout that we have, too. Ooh, I don't feel confident. Don't let me feel confident. Whenever I feel confident, something terrible is always bound to happen. Like, there's a trap right here. Where's my pet? This little fucker's gonna get me killed. What kind of trap is this? Oh, it just sends out Roly Boys. How did that miss? Damn wolf, he's not distracting enough. <sighs> oh, I about had a heart attack. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was scary. That was very, very scary. I'm still, I can only eat one hit from those guys. Anything outside of that, I'm in trouble. I tried to time my power attack and got too cute with it.
Yeah, you thought you were getting that second hit in, didn't you? Stupid ass robot. Thought you could be smarter than me. Okay, a couple more roly boys down. I need a checkpoint bad. It's my two handed skill at. Two handed at 47. Light armor officially hits 60, so I can take another light armor perk. I gotta get out of here. What was that? Who's opening doors? We got some spiders. Rolly boy on the far end of the room. Let's get our distractor. Fuck off. One down. Dog's still doing some work. Dog's down. I can take on one. We gotta just keep hammering this. We're getting such good XP. But, oh man, this is terrifying. Now I'm really risking a ton of progress. I hate this, I, I hate it. Oh, this is an awesome dungeon though. Shout out to everyone in chat who suggested it. And apologies if anybody has been screaming at me. Uh, it's a ballista, fuck. No, I, I feel like the ballista has a tactical advantage on me. That, you know, the Centurion, I have enough speed and mobility and the pathing is a lot easier to cheese. The ballista, it shoots quickly, it's accurate. Again, I can only eat one hit from it. I got a bail, at least for now. We still have some time in here. I think I'm going to allow myself another 45-ish minutes to continue delving into this dungeon just to see how far we can get on this quest. Because the XP is amazing. It's going to power level us a ton to hopefully make whatever Dragon Prairie's dungeon we want to take on easier. Vokun. I've already decided. It's on the map. Okay. It might not be the most practical final foe. But it's on the map. I said an hour, 30 minutes ago. That was 30 minutes. I felt like five. Don't, oh God, I thought I was about to fall in the water. Or I thought that the water would kill me. We should have done this dungeon before though. Or at least a little bit earlier. There's just not enough time. The reach is massive. There's so much content in this portion of the map. It's ridiculous. You could get about 30 hours just in the reach. Like if we really wanted to do every single dungeon, every single quest, everything available on this part of the map, we'd be pushing 30 to 40 hours. We'll take, uh, we'll get a full rest. I should have dragged it. I need to be faster. How am I today? Mark, I'm doing well. I'm feeling good. Stam health madge. This is a tough one. I think I'm going to go stam though. I just feel like the one thing that keeps me alive is sprinting and maximizing my ability to do it is right there. 100% stamina regen when wearing three pieces of light armor. Got to take it. That's such a huge buff. What's unhindered? Your armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when wearing three pieces. That's another good one. Okay, what about adrenaline? You move 20% faster when sprinting. Well, oh my you, gosh, okay, sir. we need to hurry up and level up. I need every single light armor perk is insane. I love the rework that this uh, perk tree overhaul did to light armor. It's all just like improved movement speed, all that kind of stuff. Hold on, how many pieces of light armor am I wearing? Light armor, light armor, light armor. Okay, I am wearing three pieces of light armor. Gurdok, thank you for the prime.
Holy crap, Juve is a real streamer. Every time I check this page, it's never live. I am shocked. Shocked, I say. The last few weeks, I totally understand. A uh, lot of different things going on. Was slamming my head against a brick wall for a project that we ended up scrapping. Had a few weddings that I had to go out of town for. Heard some personal stuff going on. It's been messy. Um, but I'm feeling good. Skyrim greater than Starfield? I mean, Skyrim is the best game of all time. That's just my opinion. <laughs> you couldn't... You, you, you just... I, I, don't, I don't know if it'll ever be beat. I just think it's a perfect video game in all ways. But of course, I'm biased, right? <laughs> like, uh, This is huge. Look at that stamina regen. Look at that thing fill. Okay, we're back to it. We've got... Oh, he's targeting us. He's targeting us and he gets the first hit in. Oh, man, I'm fucking stuck. No way, I'm dead. What, what is this invisible wall shit? Don't know why he didn't kill me there. He totally should have. Yeah, there's a huge invisible wall on that side of the room. I'm out of stam. I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. Swing the sword. Ugh. Uh. Fuck you. This game sucks. <laughs> This game fucking sucks. <laughs> no, that was my fault. I, um, when my wolf went down and I was gifted, I was gifted an opportunity to get back into that fight. I should have thrown another wolf out there. I had the perfect opportunity to do it. I just didn't. Oh, God damn it. This is before my... This is before I counted sleep. Now we're burning time. Down to our final two hours to grind before we have to take on a final boss. We can't die. It just, ugh, we lose so much time when we die. Now we gotta go through the level up again. We gotta think through it. We went Stam. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna take it off of Stam. I'm gonna go Health because we have so much Stamina buffing equipment. We're all the way up to 250. Do I wanna take Adrenaline? Yeah, I wanna take it. God damn it, click on the right thing. Fuck off. Oh my god, I'm getting cooked by the skill menu. Come on. Sorry, Chad, I'm feeling the pressure. Feeling just a little bit of the pressure. A literal skill issue? Oh, absolutely. Why am I moving so quickly? Is it just me or am I moving faster than before? Is it true that if I fail this challenge, I have to do an unarmed starfield run on, sc on stream? I don't think that would be too bad. That'd be pretty easy. Unless it's on very hard. Uh, you would have to do... Um, I haven't seen anybody else's videos. I know Spiff just did a video on Thank an unarmed you, run. Sir. But you would have to do... Love all your challenges, Juve. Eden Gray, thank you very much. Thank you for five months. Uh, what you would have to do is obviously spec into the physical tree. Pretty much every skill point you would take is in the physical tree. Uh, there's some pretty good ones, especially later in the physical tree that essentially allow you to just disarm your enemies. But if you combo those with some of the legendary traits that uh, some of the armor will have, there's a few legendary traits where you can set enemies on fire just for them being near you, as well as get them to drop their weapons. Uh, if you're not counting Starborn abilities, 
then you wouldn't be able to use the Starborn ability that gets enemies to then again drop their weapons. But if you're allowed to do that, you would cast that ability, they all drop their weapons, you grab their weapons while they're floating through midair, and then you just duke it out. Okay, Wolf has him cornered. What are you doing, Wolf? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, Wolf? No way. I'm dead. I'm gonna die here again. Invisible Wolf's gonna get me here. I can't fight these. I can't fight the Ballista anymore. They're just like my kryptonite. You useless wolf. Stumble. I meant to have heal on both hands there, and I fucking blew it again. Now we're burning time. That's another three, four minutes gone. Yikes. All I needed to do was pop a small heal there, and I would have bought myself enough time. Probably could have used potions, but I just don't want to waste my potions in here. I gotta save up on them. But spending all this time routing myself all the way back to get killed by one enemy? One? Clapped by the same Dwarven automation. Something's in the water for the Ballista. Yeah, if this Dwarven Ballista ends up being harder than Vokun... I don't know. I always ask hypotheticals, don't I? Have you ever noticed that I do that all the time? I always say, if X, then... I'm going to lose it. I'm going to be so pissed. Sometimes I don't even have an answer to if. I just like to ask questions and then not have an answer to it. One hour, 55. Cutting it off at 1330. I gotta. This is a cool dungeon. I would love to keep going through here. But yeah, it would take us a long time. I kick ass for 99% of this entire dungeon. It's because of this arena. This arena is just awkward. He keeps camping back in corners. There's an invisible wall over here that just keeps fucking me over. That animation is really annoying. Wow, that was so difficult. What a thrilling encounter. Can't believe that is what I spent all that time on. We lost 10 minutes just on that stupid fight. Ugh. Anything down here? Soul gems, come on. Yes! Give me another one. Nope. Give me something. Come on, give me a 
filled grand soul gem. Nothing good. Just in case we crash, let's do another one of these. Why do you want soul gems? So I want to just be able, in case of emergency, be able to afford myself as many opportunities to refill my enchanted items as I can when it comes down to the last one. are going to do decent damage. Bad miss. Dodge to the side. I'm learning! I am learning to kill things effectively and dodge the power attack. That's been a big one. That's been getting my ass kicked a lot during this run when fighting human enemies. I keep missing the power attack. Not dodging it properly. It's a small step to the side if you're playing on precision, but you can, in fact, sidestep the power attack. Oh, there's way too much exploding right now. There's too many factory noises in the background. This is a checkpoint. This is going to take us back to the beginning, right? Archers to my left. And there's a mage. Okay, we want to watch out for them. Archer and a mage. As soon as we take them out, though, we're going to have a bed right here and a checkpoint. An official checkpoint, not a cheese checkpoint. Needs a recharge? Don't care. All right, both dead. Give me that checkpoint. Do not knock me off this ledge. Bedroll. Huge. <clears throat> awesome. Now we don't need to run all the way around this godforsaken place again if we want to keep continuing. Nothing good. Wizard might have something. Nope. Wizard has nothing. Secret chest back here. Lots of gold ore, but I don't need that. Spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Well, this place has a, oh, it's a lightning storm inside here. Looks like there's a bunch of mercenaries up there fighting with fighting all the spiders. Started Forgotten Seasons. Investigate the ruin. Oh, so now it took me that long just to start the quest? I've discovered a strange Dwemer ruin where a mercenary party has been attacked by hostile machines. I should investigate. It took me that long just to start the damn quest. Healing potion. Couple spiders. Common soul. Empty common, but I'll take it. Come on, give me a potion. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna take those iron arrows. Just in case I need ammo. Still have 22 pounds of allowance left. Am I gonna die if I stand there? Vardenkin Gallery. Checkpoint.
lava, lightning, ice. This place is awesome. I can't really enjoy it that much. <laughs> Started the Dwarven Crown. How many quests are in this one place? Retrieve the Dwarven Crown. Dwarven Crown. Elberon's journal, what does he say in here? Shut down the Weather Witch, disable the Conduit of Spring. Blah, 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 disable the Conduit of Summer. This is a cool ass quest. Wait, hold on, this, uh, this book, it probably says something about the Dwarven Crown. I bet I have to wear it. I'm a god. Who is that? Who's making me dance? I'm a god. What a grand and intoxicating hey, Megabit PlayStation, there you I'm are again. God. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Hey, Megabit PlayStation memory card, thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. I appreciate you. Unfortunately, we can't celebrate for too long because I am running out of time. I've split the mercs into groups and explained how to disable the conduits in each season, using simple words for their infinitesimally small minds. To their credit, some of them decided to take notes. It would be easier if they simply read the accounts of my previous expedition. Of course, doing so would make them aware of the horrible fate that befell their predecessors. I've also told the men to be on the lookout for other curiosities such as dwarven insects, dwarven mounts, and three dwarven crown masks that we uncovered in our last foray. However, the main prize in this tomb of inclement weather is the turn of the seasons, a magical spell that legends say is cast not by the spellcaster but by the weather itself. Once you have read this tome and are imbued with its power, they say the rain will grant you a silver tongue as charming as a spring romance. Summer sweltering heat fills you with the stamina when dressed in a light armor, whereas winter snow offers boon to heavy armor wearers. Meanwhile, the clouds are a gift to hunters. Their bows cutting through the autumn wind. Such a prize must be deep within the blah, 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 blah. Okay, he doesn't really offer any insight there. I probably don't need to wear this crown. Also, I don't want to wear the crown because if I do, it's going to remove any of the light armor bonuses that I have uh, obtained via perks. So let's just see how much distance we can cover in here before I hit my time limit and we got to get out of here. Healing potion. Gotta keep collecting them. Don't really need gold. Barrel, that's all good. I've given myself until 14 hours. That's a massive spider. Okay, giant dwarven spider on the far side of the room. Before we do that... reading all that plentiful healing candlelight yeah let's make sure that we can take some scrolls give myself a checkpoint again uh that spider's gonna kill me immediately i have a checkpoint so i, I just want to see what the spider's all about oh you you bastard you coward What's that about? I fell in the lava. Fell in the lava. Just find and go to Autumn. That's where those horse pieces are. Horse pieces are in Autumn. None of these give me quest markers. Okay, Autumn. Uh, I assume it's going to be this one. If I can get up here. Apparently not. This is probably spring. Oh, no, this is autumn. Okay, autumn's bells. If I can get out of here with a solid gold horse, I will be happy with that. Note on Autumn. Hold on, this might actually be useful. Can't really even read it. Mage says we have to harvest wheat and stuff and stuff it in the depositories. Uh, only I don't know which wheat goes in which container. Seems like the symbols on the signs and the depositories might be a clue, but they all look the same and it's making my head hurt. Shores Bones. This isn't what I signed up for. If I wanted to work on a farm, I'd go back to Rorik's dead. The treasure better be worth it. Okay, we got one leg of the horse. Keep an eye out for the others. Harvest wheat as we go through here. Wheat. Harvested. This is the most 
<clears throat> intense and stressful quest I think I have ever tried to accomplish. I'll be so pumped though if we can get a golden horse. Roly boy, lots of tall spiky grass. Bring it on, bitch. Okay, he wants to kill me first. Apparently, uh, yeah, okay, I guess I'm the apple of his eye. Now he's on the wolf. Swing, damn, swing the damn sword. Greater soul gem, but it's empty. That's a bummer. Okay, one roly boy down. There's a centurion somewhere in this room, though. Looks like he's on the far side. This place is massive. And it looks just awesome. Is this CC content? This is really good content. Bethesda, if you're gonna do CC content, more of this shit, because this is fucking cool. Like, it's, it's just, the, it's the same assets from, like, the main game, the same enemies and everything, but, like, they just set scale on some spiky grass and throw up a storm cloud. Now it's cool. This is really creative. Shout out to whoever put this together. Okay, wheat depository. You don't have any wheat to deposit. Well, what we're gonna have to do before we start collecting wheat is clear out the enemies that are in here. That's gotta be numero uno. Get rid of the danger, make everything else easier. There's multiple centurions. Insufficient charge. I'm not worried about how much ammo we have for our fireballs. Harvest Dwarven Centurion. Oh shit, he's close. Need to keep him close to this back room. Thank stuck on a pillar. Answer. We love when they're stuck on a pillar. Columns have been the hero of this entire playthrough. Loop him back into this hallway. Oh no, he can fit. No, he can fit. Not what we needed. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Running out of time. I don't have room. I don't have any allowance. Will he follow me into the second room? Barely survived that. Whew. I gotta get my magic back. There we go. Now we got some wheat. Orcish Sword of Thunderbolts. Can I carry that? No, I don't have enough room for it. That's a bummer. Do I have any other? Let me check. Got the scroll of fireballs, bow of sparks. Really don't have a whole lot else. I'll probably be right at the door, but at the very least, I have a checkpoint. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we got lucky there. What are you doing all the way out here, buddy? Man, where'd that dick bag go? Still has low health. So many rocks that I'm just catching my feet on. Got him. 
Target down. Okay, I think there's only one more of these guys in here. He probably has a bunch of wheat. No, he has no wheat. Oh, he does. He has nine wheat. <clears throat> okay, so we just do we have to just put... You don't have any wheat to deposit? I have plenty of wheat to deposit. But, like, there's some kind of symboling. So there's a puzzle in here we're going to have to decipher. We got 38 minutes. That should give me enough time to go back to Markarth, get back to Red Eagle's cavern, fight Red Eagle. Races of smithing. Shock resistance. Sure, yeah, why not? Just take them. Destroy construct. Deals 20 magic damage per second for five seconds to dwarven automatrons. Ha! Huh! What a find. For the first time in this playthrough, I will be using a scroll, but I need to find where the other big boy is. Glowing wheat. Special colored wheat. Okay, so I'm looking for glowing wheat. Thank you very much. Is that AJ? I appreciate you, AJ. It's so hard to see over all the grass. I love that element of this dungeon, too. Just trying to get, you know, a visual. That still barely did any damage. Throw that one out there. I'm dead. Somehow not dead. Wow, that scroll was not nearly as good as I thought it'd be. Ooh, I'm out of charge. That's not good. What do we have? Common, lesser, petty. How many common do I have, though? I got to keep an eye on that. I only have two common soul gems left. One greater, four lesser, 14 petty. Oh! Watch it, young man. Rolly boy still following me? Okay, Rilly Boy's down. Got a really lucky critical hit there. And it looks like the big dog lost track of us. Fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, don't let that hit us. Keep getting him to trail back with us. This one's gonna hit me. Barely got me. Come on, asshole. Get in this hallway, and you're dead. He's walking back. Me right around this corner. I missed! <laughs> Luckily, the janky geometry of Skyrim saves me once again. Get him in the hallway. Uh-oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Can't afford any more of those. This one has to kill him. Looks like the last one did. You out there? I see you. Where are you? Huh? You over the fence? You dead? I think we got him. What do we have left? 34 minutes? Looks like we've made up some time while we're in here. Filled Grand Soul Gem. Thank you. That's what I was waiting for. I'm going to take all the wheat because we're going to need to take it back home, combine it with all of our blue mountain flowers, and make a fuckload of healing potions. Okay, how many more of the big dogs are there? You guys said there's another big one. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Ah, oh, this stinks. Oh, look at you. You are just the most adorable little glowing red rabbit. 
what you have on you. Nothing special. Whoa! I can't fight two at once. You gotta separate. Dog? I cast dog. You gotta get me more filled. That's a bummer. All right, so we've got the symbols. Hold on, wait, this symbol is, it's wheat, but it's got like a, it's like a, I guess we'll call that a seven, but then there's a backward seven, there's a T, there's a, a J. T. So I don't think I can take it yet. Because if I try to take it, it just activates the trap. Blowing red wheat added. Where's the T? T? Place the wheat. Glowing red wheat removed. Okay, I think that might be all I need for that one. I think. So it looks like there's six different kinds of wheat that I'll need to find. White molded wheat is the uh, backwards J, we'll call it. White molded wheat to the backwards J, right here. White molded wheat. Upside down, Jay? I don't know. Up left. Up to the left. Blue luminous. Up and to the left. Up to the left. Up left. Blue luminous. Okay. And we got seven. Greater than. Less than. Seven. Greater than. Less than. Or backwards seven. We're gonna have to kill one more of these big guys. I got two common soul gems. We're gonna use our last common soul gem to fill this one all the way up. Yeah, we probably Thank have to go kind, all the sir. way to the other side of the room. This is just massive. It even and, and then it even goes downstairs. There's a chest down there. Some of those chests have had really good loot, so I might go for it. You! Stop, criminal! Oh, wrong one. Which one was I looking for? Get him! <laughs> Get him! Gotta take any of the souls that I can get. I'm gonna have to start soul trapping rabbits. Mark, thank you very much for paying it forward. Appreciate you. Anything in here? White cap? No, they're all gonna be on the other side. It just makes sense. Dramaturgically, it makes sense for uh, all of the other wheat to be on the other side of the room. Let's hit these chests though if we can. If they're out of the way, I feel like there's... No, they're empty. Strange? Why? just the most unnecessary kill cam ever. It's a little rabbit. Poor guy. What do we have for gems? Got a grand, grand, empty grand, empty graders, one common. Lesser soul gems are being filled with petty. Uh, we don't like that a lot. 16 petty. That's pretty good. No more empty petty soul gems, though.
orange encrusted is seven. Really boy wants to come play. This one needs a charge. See, this is the problem. This is why I wanted to save up on as many soul gems as I could. This one can get a full charge though. With a lesser and a petty. We're just gonna go three petty. One hit kill, absolutely gorgeous. Could not have happened to a worse automatron. Shout out to everybody teaching me about hotkeys. I cannot believe after all this time I did not know hotkeys. So we got orange encrusted. Did I grab one? Let me just make sure I have it. Is it gonna fall in here? There's a quest item, orange encrusted wheat. We got it. It's the seven. Twenty-seven minutes. And then we're gonna have to manually walk our whole entire way out of this dungeon, which is probably gonna take about five. <clears throat> In one hour, can we go from here, walk all the way on foot back to Mar- Oof, I don't know. <laughs> Walking from here to Markarth all the way on foot, getting to Red Eagle's Cavern and killing him before 15 hours? Orange encrusted wheat. Maybe I don't even need to know the right one. Will the game just automatically place the right one in there? Still have to find the horse pieces. I don't know if I care too much about the horse pieces right now. But all the horse pieces are in this room. The horse pieces will have a quest marker if you're near it. Oh, look at that. You know what? Getting that horse could be massive because it's going to get us a little bit closer and back to town faster. I'm going to run through all these areas I've already been. And just see if we can get it to activate. Come on. Quest marker. Chat, you guys are so smart. Genuinely. Like, I would not have been as efficient today without your help. There's one on the plate next to the river thingy. Plate next to the river thingy. Like, down here? Down there? I'll check on the other side. Or maybe you meant, like, up here. Beautiful. Front leg. How many are left? Right back leg and then the head. Okay, there's definitely gonna be one hidden by the big boy that's over there that we gotta kill. Are there two big boys on this side? I'd much prefer if there weren't. Uh oh. Found one in here. Back leg, plentiful healing. Now we're over encumbered. We gotta think about this quickly and just get rid of stuff that we don't necessarily need right now. Don't need wine. Don't need mud crab legs. Venison chop is two pounds. I'm just gonna eat it. Now we're two pounds under. Okay, Dwarven Spider Guardian. That's gonna do electricity damage. We only need one more piece of the horse and two more things of wheat. I'm gonna just keep pacing the outside of this room. There's gonna be some wheat right here. It's gonna be green.
Backwards seven. Couple enemies, couple spiders. Nothing too major. I don't know if I want to avoid combat with them though because they might drop filled soul gems. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got crazy range with the shock. Gotta fall back. Get some range. Find some height. Hopefully their AI is just dumb enough to try and stay within range. Nice shot. Nice. One down. Both down. All right, they're both dead. The big guy still hasn't gotten us. We only need to find one more piece of horse. That sounds strange. That does sound really strange. We need one more piece of horse. Get the chest. It's a weird hitbox. Come on. Don't make me. Got it. It was worth it. Filled soul gem. Lesser. Uh, where'd the other spider go? Dwarven spider? Was that both of them? Dwarven spider guardian, dwarven spider worker. Yeah. That was both of them, unfortunately. Okay, so we got the sickly green. I think all we need to find is the head of the horse. Uh-oh. He's in the room unlocked by the wheat. Okay, head is unlocked by the wheat. Got it, so we have all the horse pieces. Just need the last thing of wheat. Looks like it's right in here. Off color wheat. Take it, let's go. We die here, we lose like 20 minutes of progress. I'm just gonna throw that dog out there. Was the audio goofing up? I have, the audio has kind of cut out on my end once or twice, like with my character sprinting, but it's only ever happened for like, you know, a second or a half second. So we did that one. Final room is open. I don't know what that button's gonna do. I feel like it's gonna do something scary. Gold diamond necklace, I gotta take it. I gotta take all this stuff, it's valuable. Horse head acquired. Just in case my game crashes, I will save here again. Conduit of Autumn disabled. We have an hour 20 left. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I didn't get a whole lot of XP there, but you know what? That's fine. I had to use my other means of getting kills, the stabs and whatnot. They were pretty effective. We got some destruction XP. Obviously, we got a lot of light armor and... I forgot how loud it was in here. You missed a ton of gold in that room. I don't care. I have enough loot on me to sell and get all the gold that I need. We're getting out of here. This is what I'm talking about. CC content? Yeah. Yeah, this is valid. Like, if you, does anybody know what the actual price of this quest is for CC content? Like, individually. Obviously, with AE, 
I think that all of that content in one like bundle is a pretty decent deal, but individually, right? That's kind of the big issue with CC content is that they're individually priced and the result is often underwhelming. Checkpoint. I'm gonna get a full night's rest. I've earned it. You know what, after all that crap? Yeah, this is a really great dungeon. I wanna, I wanna keep going through it, because it's just huge. There's a lot to it. We got more important things to get to right now. Nobody thought we could do it. There were a lot of non-believers. A lot of people didn't think it was possible. But in fact, why is it gotta be raining? This is a happy moment. Yes. Wow. Oh, <laughs> is that, that, that's what we get? I mean, it works. I don't give a shit. I have a solid gold metal horse made of machinery. It's doesn't really make any cool noises. Like, it'd be cool if it was making, you know, mechanical clip-clop, clippity-clip-clop noises. It's not, but that's okay. But that's okay. It's still, we're still in our zone. Let's just discover this. Uh, you know what? You know what? Cradlestone Tower, who's in here? Hmm. Let's get their ass kicked, huh? Ah, uh, of course it's a hag raven. <laughs> Get her stumbling. I just manhandled a hag raven. I... I... I didn't know it was possible. I didn't... I didn't think I could. A hag raven has fallen by my hand, unironically, without cheese. <laughs> without cheese. <laughs> About got killed by a soul gem though. Ooh, I wonder if it's filled. Fuck off, soul gem. Oh, it fell through the floor. Uh, it's... What did it just hit? It's, I swear I just heard, oh, there is a trap right there. A little bit of coin. One more coin for good measure. That thing better be filled. Six lesser, 13 petty, grand greater, common. Whole lot of unfilled soul gems. We'll figure that out later. Let's get back to Markarth. Let's get back to Markarth. Do one more round of inventory management. And then claim the soul of Red Eagle. How do I get down from here though? Feels dangerous. I don't really know which way to go. Oh, great. Okay, there's hag ravens right here. We want to avoid them. Thank you, kind sir. Watch me get myself and the horse killed from fall damage. Uh, YR, 03, HT. Thank you very much for the tier one. I appreciate you. Yeah, this horse doesn't give a fuck. Going right through all the bony noise traps. This horse is unhinged. Making constant noise. Trampling dead bodies. Uh, surviving the elements and fall damage. Scoffing at the executed uh, bystanders. I really like how quiet this horse is, though. Right? Like, 
See, that's the thing with CC content. Uh, yeah, all right, you know what? I'll give it to it. That dungeon, fucking badass. That was awesome. The dungeon was sweet. But like, oh, some if this had like some dwarven centurion type sound effects, that'd be really cool. It could get annoying, I guess, if it was just constantly looping the same mechanical sound effects over and over. Be a little obnoxious. Follow this road the whole way. Hello, my good sir. I'm, I'm off to Windhelm. To yep, to join up with the Stormcloaks. Now, while we're out here. Howdy, Stormcloaks. We got 1347. God, should I, do I even go back to town? Should we go kill Red Eagle, then go back to town for our final sort of economy run? I mean, why Why do I need to go back to town now, then go back to Red Eagle? Theoretically, if I can kill Red Eagle after a visit to town, I should be able to kill Red Eagle right now. What am I afraid of? Should be able to kick his ass. This mountain's going to get in my way, so I'm already going the wrong way. Yeah, come on, horsey. Let's go. I'm gonna go kick Red Eagle's ass. No more of this nonsense. Red Eagle falls. He dies. We go back to town. We settle in. Maybe we kill Vokun. Before 15 hours? No. I doubt we have enough time for that, but it would be cool. anything interesting to say we're just kind of wandering over there you're right i guess i can't kill vokun before 15 he's in a different region oh i'm so excited that was not gonna lie that dungeon as frustrated as i got that was really fun. That was like the perfect mix of strategy and good combat, tough enemies, drama. That was awesome. Sing us a song? No. I wish I could give the Dwarven horse a name. I could call it something like Gears or bonk or uh look i don't know what to call you i'm trying don't give me that look all right i'll come up with the name you don't even have eyes how do you even know you don't even have ears don't look at me like stop it no i'm not naming you that actually that's kind of a badass name all right we'll call him trojan troji i could work call him bonk <laughs> i'm not calling him bonk Epic battle music for the Red Eagle fight? Maybe in post. What do you mean I never sing to you? I sing to you guys way too much. Trojan like the condom? No, Trojan like the... You guys are so immature. I don't know if I only want to be level 20, though. All right, Red Eagle. That would have been a bummer. So the main thing that Red Eagle is going to do is he's going to cast that shout up the middle of the walkway. 
Are we all charged up? We're charged up here. We're charged up here. This is, this, I feel like this is how CSGO players walk around Skyrim. How did I? Am I in the wrong place? Um, I was not in the right place. But that's because when we first got here, we had to kill a bunch of guys, fought our way up here, tons of Forsworn. Pretty difficult initial fight. This is when we had a uh, Volorand. Was that his name? Who was the poor sap that we ate? We feasted on his innards. Mmm. Gotta love it. Yummy. Nothing like some priest of RK. Yeah, no, this feels wrong as well. Quest markers over here. What? Where am I? Now I'm really running out of time. Okay, kind of a cringe place to have your hideout. Did I see, uh, I see something. Still gotta be meta here. No time for what? No time for making smart plays, collecting souls? That was a good play and y'all know it. All right, here we go. Red Eagle. We're level 19, pushing on level 20. We got an hour and five minutes left. I'm so happy for this content and the run so far, but there's no way you kill Red Eagle in this mode. Okay, okay, Jazzapime. After I kill Red Eagle, Jazzapime, I need you to explain what that name means. If I don't kill Red Eagle... If I don't kill Red Eagle... In 35 Thank minutes... Time, I will delete my entire channel. No, I won't- I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I could never. Apollo, thank you for the Prime. <clears throat> okay, because this is a special occasion, I will be giving myself a checkpoint immediately before the fight so I don't have to go through that walk again. I think that's a fair play. Exclamation point rules if you want my full mod list. All right, so to start off the fight, I probably want my wolf out there. We want wolf out. Let's have our shield up just in case. We're not going to want to go melee yet, but we are going to want to close distance and get melee hits on him and then cross our fingers, hope a critical hit lands. Back this up, create some distance here. He's going for the wolf. He goes for the wolf and he misses. He's gonna waste his shouts on the wolf. 
Okay, now we just need to be able to eat some of these arrows. But we have to take out the archers first. Main focus has to be the archers. If my damn mud crab wants to stop hitting me. Need a new wolf. Need some separation. He's going to shout again soon. I'm stuck. Let's get in the hallway here. Two down. Now we have him solo. Turn around, brother. Turn around, bro. Attack the wolf. Isn't it more threatening? That wolf looked a lot more threatening than me. I'm not sure why you attacked me, Red Eagle. Not bad, though. I don't think this is going to be too bad. Yeah, he does a lot of damage, and he will one-tap us with the sword. There goes the shout. It misses us completely. Need another dog on the field. Gotta keep continually getting my dog on the field. Skeleton down. Ow. Skeleton down. Uh, almost have all of them down. There we go. Got a lot of objects in Red Eagle's way here. Throw another wolf out. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Ooh. Uh, this is going to be a little tough, huh? I cannot get hit one time. Need a stumble. Got a stumble? Let's get a critical. So I can't get two stumbles in a row. Um, okay. We're still going to be able to do a really solid chunk of damage, though, if we get a critical hit. So we have the wolf to distract. His attack won't hit us. We re-up with a power attack. We pray that it's a critical. If we repeat that process in a loop over and over, as long as we don't get hit, the one-hit kill is really what's tough. But I feel like we can avoid it. I love how I don't like Souls games all that much. I don't mind them, but I'm willing to go through this janky-ass bullshit that's completely unfair. Now, the easiest way about it... I'm going to use all my magic here pretty frivolously. Mainly because healing is going to be useless. Okay, he's going to go and kill the wolf. I'm going to fall back. Throw out wolf again. And we got to charge in. Two swings. It's a two swing attack. I had a feeling as soon as he did the first swing, I was kind of expecting the second swing to come in. Skelman down. Back to our wolf. Okay, the skeletons are down. I can probably do some damage to them with magic.
Dog's still alive? No, dog's not alive. Damn, he switches aggro like that? The dog ran away! Why did my dog run away? <laughs> you little bastard. That was a one-hit kill. Not terrible damage from those, but not nearly enough. And I want to kill him with my critical hit, two-handed, just because it would feel cool. Would you stop predicting my attack? What if the dog's over there? What if the dog is flanking you? Might be the new strategy. Put the dog behind him. So long as the dog is behind him, he'll have to play things a little bit differently. He's just gonna follow me now. Now he turns. We got a stumble there, we got lucky. There's our critical. Nice chunk of health. I got really lucky though that uh, we got our power attack in, caused a stumble before his second attack went out. Shout, shout, shout! Mitigate, mitigate the shout. <laughs> Somehow tanked it. Dog needs to be behind. Aggro, now he's on it. No critical, but we got a hit in. Got to move. I'm running out of stamina. Let's see, do we have any stam potions? Jesus, I got to go through like all of them. Supposed to save those for Vokun. Keep it up, doggy. Double. Stumble. One more. Ah, we gotta go. Can't get greedy and go for a second. He's probably gonna shout here soon. Put the dog behind him. Back it up. Hold on, hold on. Pause. I need a little bite to eat. Don't mind me, Red Eagle. I'm just hungry. Back up here. The throne room, I feel like, is where we have a good advantage on him. Let's let him get a bit closer. Shout. No, he's just flexing. Double attack. Stumble. I missed. I fucking missed! Damn! Damn! That's the strategy. We just have to execute it perfectly. Skeletons first. He's just gonna come after us early on. All right, there we go. Skeleton's dead. Uh-oh. Double attack there. I gotta try and find a good window when he does the double attack. Or when he starts doing his little dance thing there. You see how he was just kind of focused on me? Back away. I really need this mud crab to get off my ass. Don't really like that. That attack does damage to the wolf. Which way are you going here, bud? One, two. Oh my God. What? How? How did I survive that? Okay, I guess I can eat, you know, kind of one hit, shout. Disarmed. 
Okay, all I dropped was the wolf. That shout should have just connected directly, but all I dropped was the uh, dire wolf. That's all. Uh, that's not too bad. Where did I have the spectral dire wolf? What was it? What was it on? One, two, three, four, five. It's just so hard to find that right, you know, that perfect window. Because if I have to turn around and sprint... Come on. Asshole. Still, we ate it. We survived. Fortify health? I want to say fortify health might actually save me. If I can fortify my health just barely enough... You know, it's only 60 seconds. Nope, don't have enough time. Gotta fall back again. Now we gotta grab a bite to eat. See? I, I sprint to get away from him, and it's almost like he knows that I'm not looking at him. And that's when he turns to kill my dog. Got him. Good hit. Back it up. Woo! What's up? Be afraid of my strategy, Red Eagle. Be afraid of the strat. Double attack. There's the second. Gives me enough time for a big hit. Followed up. Get away. Around here, there he goes. Basic attack. Not sure why we went with the running forward attack. There's our critical. I wish I could get the critical on the power attack, though. We need stamina. If I'm gonna power attack him again, we need stamina. Drink it up, drink it up, drink it up. Come on, do it. Do your double. Stumble. Nice hit. Fall back. Okay, he got us with the ice. Oh, no. Ah, I couldn't get my healing spell out soon enough, okay? Restore 50. Take two healing potions. Back to max. Fall back a bit. Gotta get around here, get up the stairs. It was easy. It was literally the easiest boss battle I have ever had in the entirety of this game. Did I not tell you all that we were going to kill Red Eagle? I told you it'd be easy. You just have to believe in me. You got to believe. I'm getting rid of this helmet because it looks stupid. Still over encumbered? Underwhelming? Maybe. Do I care? Not really. Red Eagle is fucking dead. That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. Red Eagle, get out of my lobby. You are trash. You are garbage. I'm better than you and your entire army of minions. You're all hype. I didn't even need Spellbreaker. Didn't even need it. Well, now what do I do? I feel it feels like we beat the game. <laughs> There's nowhere else for me to go. Got nothing left. I mean, we do have a final boss that we have to kill in... Uh, 49 minutes. So now it's just, we just have to sprint. We gotta sprint and get as much grinding done as we possibly can. Sorry, I missed basically everything that you said, chat. Oh yeah, you know what? We could have some uh, victory music. Do I have victory music? I need to celebrate. 
We have jams in here. No, that's not a good victory song. Oh, that was a good one. That's too epic. That's a good one, but... Oh yeah, there we go. This is like my favorite song ever. It's the greatest song of all time. Whew! I was so locked in there, I couldn't even like celebrate victory. But once we had the strategy, it was over. Worth every second. Lurker Dirks, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. What do I get rid of? Everything I have is so goddamn valuable. I guess my bow? I don't really need a bow anymore. What was the sword that we got? Honed Ancient Nord Great Sword of Burning. That's not very good. I'm a god. Oh, okay, there's the god. dance party. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Oh, once again, 8 megabit. PlayStation memory card. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Whew! Fine, I'll take more soul gems, I guess. Is that the is that the end of this quest? That's it? Is that really the special reward of Red Eagle's tomb? An amethyst? Some gold and hide armor? I don't care. This is a it's a waste of time even being in here anymore. His sword, his sword's not even that good. My sword is better. I'm just glad that my two-handed finally came in, like, clutch. Because without critical hits, that fight takes a lot longer. I kind of feel bad that I cheesed it at the end and just started throwing fireballs at him. Oh, the- oh, oh, sword on the shelf. How did- how did I miss it? Here, we gotta go. We got 45 minutes before our final encounter. Is it this sword? Red Eagle's Bane. Undead up to level 13 are set on fire and... That's it? 18 damage? <laughs> keep your reward. You know what, matter of fact, keep your sword too. I don't need it. I only wanted the pleasure of killing you, executing you in battle. That was garbage. That was trash. It's not even that sword. I'd rather have that sword because it looks cool, stabbed into the rock. All right, anybody know how I can find my golden horse? Come on, bonk. I don't know where the hell bonk went. I feel like that sword could be good. In, uh, Vokun's... There it is. There's the crash. I had been waiting on a crash all stream. We had not gotten one. We were well due. Yeah, the, uh... Turn Undead spell, I feel like, could be pretty good in a, uh, a Draugr dungeon. How much damage does your Dwarven Sir do? About 41. About 10% more than Red Eagles. Did you get your Crash Logger working? No, I will focus on that another time. Mainly because we're getting really close to the end of this one.
That's alright, I got other enchantments. That's one thing that I do want to go back to town for. Is various enchantments. Inventory management. Buying filled soul gems. I can't believe my horse ditched me. After all we've been through. <gasps> Ooh, monarch butterfly. Come here. Come here. Come here. Gotta kill the butterfly. Need as many as I can get. Found my horse. Go back to town and finally do four skull. I guess I have been talking about four skull lookout the entire time. We're, we gotta move fast. This is kind of serene. This feels like Arthur Morgan's last ride. What was that one song? Let me uh, stand and shake in a mist, a mist of crashing world. Is that the one that plays when he's like riding back to camp for the last time before all the shit goes down? Ditch! <laughs> that, was the, that was my worst Arthur ever. Ditch! What if they just made Arthur like your stereotypical American Western accent? Dutch, why aren't we, why aren't, why, what, what's all this about, Dutch? I don't, I don't understand. How can you kill a god? It's making me dance again. Is that Ink Demon? I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Marabar. Ink Demon, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for gifting five subs to the channel. Very kind of you. We got lawmen in three states after us, Dutch. What the hell what kind of plan is this? Tahiti? Oh. Also, that's a very bad, <laughs> that's a very bad Western accent. Like, they should have just gone totally cornball with it. Leviticus Cornwall? He's that oil baron. Nobody wants to mess with him. He's one of the toughest, meanest bastards in the West. <laughs> you don't want to mess with him. He'll tie up to the railroad tracks. Come on. I missed one of the butterflies. But it should be enough to get us a few more HP potions. Can you do Arthur's TB cough? <laughs> Is that good? Aren't you 29? I'm 74, actually. I'm just really into necromancy. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. Almost there. We got 40 minutes left. Means we gotta move quick. General store. Let's make a bunch of cash. Out of the way. Out of the way. Imidane, don't want to talk to you. Elizabeth? No, I'm not. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. She only has 750. Come back whenever you need. Uh, do you have any filled soul gems? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Too common. Three filled greater. I'm buying them all. This is gonna get me a lot of speech XP as well. Just selling all this. Immediately spending it on expensive gems. If you need anything else, just ask. We should be good on that now. Let's catch our level up. I wanna get that last light armor perk. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong. This is the drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Don't roast. Meat pie. Oh, that's pretty good. Apple pie. Why not? Sure thing. It's your. 
I'll show you to your room. I don't think I got two level ups. I didn't really get a lot of experience in the last fight of that big dungeon. Uh, we're gonna go health. Yeah, we didn't really get a lot of XP because we used stabs the whole time. Staves. Resonance weapon enchantments cost 50% less charge. Scrolls last three times as long. Wait a minute, does, does that mean... Oh, I don't know if I want to take... I, I, I'm not, I, I don't want to take that one yet. The one skill that I want to make sure that I take is in light armor. Uh, I think it's this one. Your armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when wearing three pieces of armor. Right? Yeah, this is the one we want. We want unhindered. Just keep pumping everything that we can into light armor. Next time we level up, if we do, before we hit our time limit, we'll probably just take champion. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Outsiders aren't trusted in Markov. You know, honestly, if I want to level up my two-handed skill before enchanting probably takes me to level 21, I could just get into a fight with a few guards. My breath is foul? I should kill you right now where you stand. How dare you? Put Juve on your TV all the time to the point where your mom was like, you watching that man again? Helen of Troll, tell your mother I said hello. I have Helen of Troll. What is it? Um, Helen, Mrs. Helen of Troll. Um, hi. My name is Juve. Um, <clears throat> I play this game. Very uh, stupid manners. And um, well, we have fun. I like to, you know, do my best at entertaining people while I while I do this. Still not really sure if I'm very good at it. One of these days, I'll probably figure that out. All right. We can either go absorb health, frost damage, or shock damage. Um, I should probably go shock, right? If we're going to be dealing with Draugr, they're going to have magic. We should probably damage their magicka. Shock. I, I feel like I should go shock. I don't really want to go absorb health. Do it with a grand. Uh, you know what? Hold on. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to quit enchanting. I'm Calcelmo's nephew. The auto. I help him around the laboratory. I had you figured for a maid. Hold on. Let I me just think be... through this real quick. Ready, Soul Gem? I'll buy that. I should have saved that expensive jewelry instead of selling it. What? Oh, goodbye. Don't let my uncle go on. Whoa. Holy frame rate dropping this thing. Can I sell it? I really don't know what it is. I used to travel. I had you figured for a maid. I think you'll appreciate Oh, I can't sell it. Yeah, I am I'm going to. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Yes. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Everything in here is enchanted. No, the ring's too expensive to just buy on its own. <clears throat> Should I buy some really shitty armor and enchant it just to get a few more levels? You're right, I only have 35 minutes. I gotta stop wasting time thinking about it. Will you just teleport to Vokun? Yes, I will just teleport right to the dungeon. I've been looking for you. Got something. There's a new mu Looks like that's it. Got to go. It's not very often when we're doing a challenge for the channel that we get the Museum and Dawnstar invite. Take a look. That means we have officially crafted ourselves a famous person in Skyrim. Hide boots, hide shield, all the bracers. Might as well. Leather helmet. Sure, let's buy it. Why not? Who cares? We'll just enchant it, sell it right back. Iron plate boots, they're only 90. Mm -hmm. 
right, we'll make a few shitty enchantments with that just so that we can maximize our potential when we use a grand soul gem on our uh, main weapon. Who is that? Why is there Thalmor in here? Who the hell are you? Ondolimar is the commander of the Watch it. You watch it. You don't even I'm Kalsom. Out of the way. Get off my enchanter. Alright, let's uh leather Oh wait, I can still disenchant these? <clears throat> yeah, I don't care about smithing. Poison resistance, we're gonna keep that one. Alright, let's go. Hide boots. Um, I don't know, fortify sneak, sure. Petty. That's, That's still so much XP. Keep studying. We've only scratched the surface. Hide shield. Resist magic. 38. That is so stupid. That's actual comedy. How much XP that gives us. We'll do one with the lesser soul gem. Almost to 40. Go back to Petty. Other helmet. All right, now we got enchanting at 40. And we can enchant our bracers. Those are ones we're wearing. I can fortify archery, smithing, or sneak. Ugh, that sucks. Do I even want to bother? What about the armor? Okay, wait, hold on. This is pretty good. Uh, with our armor, we can fortify restoration. 10% cheaper. We can make destruction a bit cheaper. I probably want to go with restoration simply because it's the one that I'm using the most. With a greater soul gem, that puts it at 6% less to cast. That seems negligible. So I'll probably... We'll probably just do it just so that we have a little bit of a buff. It's it it might save us like one cast of our destruction spell or whatever it is. It's not gonna help us out a ton. The bracers, this is just pointless. I'll go with sneak. Sure. I'm a little bit better at sneaking. And then we'll use the last little bit. Grand Soul Gem. Shock damage. Target takes 14. So it does, I think, one or two more points of shock damage than before, and it has about 13 more charges. 101 charges is pretty good. Rename item. Yeah, why not? Let's call it. Uh, uh, what do we what do we call it? Chat, I need a I need a uh, what's it called? I need a name for my sword. Horse sword. Sparky slash. Throngler. George. <laughs> okay. And you know me too well. You know me too well. All right. You're new. It's George. No, I don't want to enchant the cloak. That's a bit cheesy. Since it's an armor slot that's not normally in the vanilla game. I have the artifact. So you wish to master the arcane art? Oh, damn, he won't buy it. What? Oh. And we got George with a bonus to damage. We're almost at level 21. I feel like I'd be really well served just murdering people in town and getting a ton of two handed XP that way. I think I could survive a lot of the guards. I kind of also just want to see how many guards I can kill. Protect yourself or deal some damage. Get rid of all that crap. Don't need it. Steel sort of arcing. Get rid of that. Trolls bane? Don't really need it. Let me know if you need something. Uh one other thing we have to do, potions. We have to go make the remainder of our healing potions. It's downstairs. Final 30 minutes of preparation. I 
right, we still have a good amount of time. Perfect. Plenty of uh, health potions. I got plenty of food on me. We can eat humans if we need. Potions loaded up. Scrolls loaded up. Uh, filled soul gems. We have three filled common, two filled greater, eight filled lesser, 11 filled petty. That should be plenty to keep all of our staves filled up. Staves. Sorry. Sue me. Guard might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon drawn. Let's just see how much ass I can kick. I spent all this time learning how to kick ass. Let's see how much ass we can kick. Okay, I can't kick as much ass as I thought. Okay, <laughs> I cannot kick nearly as much ass as I thought. <clears throat> Fine, I won't fight the guards. Close to leveling up. Uh, we're really close to what's something I can level up quickly. Quickly, quick levels, quick levels. What do we got in here? Two-handed, one-handed archery. Archery is really close to leveling up. Let's just um. I gotta stop thinking. I'm wasting time thinking. I'm wasting time using my brain and my head and my thoughts. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean room. Get me to morning. Who just got home? Who's opening my garage right now? What's Meat pie. Silver? I'm gonna be a silversmith today. Being an apprentice is great. I get to swing a hammer at things. You win. I submit. This should be good. <laughs> All right, I won't attack the civilians anymore. I'm done. Why can't the men in this They've got me beat. Alone? Being an apprentice is great. I get to swing a hammer at things. I'm at your house. That's me. They don't like us talking to people when we work. L? Yeah, I did earn that. When you worship Namira, everyone is a meat pie. I don't worship Namira anymore, okay? I'm over it. We broke up. Me and Namira are done. We're over. Everybody needs to stop shipping me and Namira. I have just enough time left to go over to Four Skull Lookout. I've been talking about Four Skull Lookout the whole time. I'm finally going to go there. There's going to be some enemies. We'll level up a little bit. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Giddy up. Yeah. Mush. Whoosh. Whoosh. Go to sewers. No. No, I'm going to Four Skull Lookout. It is so cool. Isn't it awesome seeing nothing at all marked on the map? It's just blank. And then in our little red zone, we've got basically every single location discovered. Almost all of them cleared. Okay. Okay. Nope. A lot of them cleared. Not all of them, but a good amount of them. Okay, that one's cleared. Come on. Karth Spire? I killed them all. Enough wasting time. No more. No more bullshit. I'm locked in. I do want to go through all of our stats and everything just to see what we were able to accomplish in this area in our 15 hours. <clears throat> Unfortunately, no death counter. I didn't think that I would have died uh, this many times, truth be told. But we've had three separate religions. Or skull. The fuck do I get up there? Is it this way? My game's gonna crash. Calling it in about uh, two seconds. It's crashing. I 
I've been around this way before, though. No, we had three, I thought. Ah, you're right. I think it was only two. Namira and then Periite. Broke up with Namira. It was a heartbreaking separation. We both were madly in love for a time. You know, it just had to happen. We weren't a good match for each other. Kine? No, Kinnereth we never officially worshipped. I only wanted to thank Kinnereth. Oh, it's just a basic bandit camp? Oh, yeah. Cue the doom music. While I roll up here just to kick some ass. Come on, bitches. Nice miss. Okay, you have a decent amount of health. Wait, that was a bounty? That's what this thing was the whole time? It was a bounty quest? <gasps> no way. Those guys killed one of the Knights of the Nine. You expect me to believe that? That clown show outside. <sighs> Do I eat Orin? No, I can't. Gauntlets of the Crusader. I mean, this is all really cool stuff. 10% armor bonus, 10% reduced damage from undead while wearing match set. Increase your health by 10 points. Restoration spells. I'm not giving up on my current, you know, set of armor. Reforged helm. Ah, so this is the light armor set. Oh God, this is all really good. This is insanely good armor, uh, especially compared to what I have. How much Creation Club content was stuffed into this region? This whole entire area, it's all filled. What's here? Pedestal. Something's supposed to go there. That's way better than my current kit, but I can't do that. If I give up on my current kit, then I give up on who Turkey Chick is as a warrior. Turkey Chick is an honorable foe, not a cheater. To me, that feels like the coward's way out. I won't have it. The pedestal is for one of the master quests. I can't believe that was it. I've been hyping up this place for so long. Okay, we have 21 minutes left. 21 minutes left to grind. What can I kill? No, I can't kill those. Can I train on my horse? Now the horse doesn't really seem to mind. Get what, please? Literally untrue. At least try it on. No, I'm not taking it. It's a waste of time. I've wasted enough time as is. We need to find more enemies. We need to kill more things. Best way to do that is to save my game because the game totally wants to crash soon. I can sense it. Wait, hold on. I need my horse. If my horse is invincible, does that mean it won't take fall damage if I jump off the cliff? Twenty minutes till failure? <clears throat> well, twenty minutes until we can no longer level up or grind or collect any items. <gasps> Ooh. There we go. Person on the road. Oh, they want to kill me. Okay, okay. Hold on. Time out. Fuck you. What the fuck is that? It's actually bullshit. How in the what? Why? 
end boss yeah end game boss just rolling up on the streets out of nowhere i'm not wasting any potions i will waste time before i waste my potions how did i know did i not tell y'all did i not tell y'all it just was bound to happen <laughs> It just was bound to occur. This road, the road over here does not like it. They use their ultimate ability on me. Who the hell is making so much goddamn noise out there? This is a critical moment. I'm running out of time. I have 19 challenges to, or 19 minutes. Shut up, no more focus. I'm gonna find whoever the hell that is and embarrass them. They will rue the day they attacked myself and Bonk. Trojan Bonk. Bonk Trojan. Bonk the Trojan. Bonk the Trojan Horse. Bonk the Trojan Horse of Destiny. Bonk of the Reach. Trojan Horse of Destiny. Aerial attack. Dismount horse. Yeah, their name is just Dark Elf. That's... Fucking bullshit. And you know what that means. I hate this game. 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 I I I I I, I hate this game. What is that? Out of on what planet? I'm not gonna be able to kill this dragon priest, am I? 15 hours. This is what it comes down to. I'm not gonna hit level 21. No way. That just cost me 10. 15 minutes? Unreal. Stupid immersive horse raiding camera. Now everything's gonna frustrate me. I just wanna understand, you know, what? Why? I don't get it. I don't. Will Spellbreaker save me? I mean, that spell did like 60 damage. Spellbreaker maybe catches 10 of it. That's all right, we can speed run this dungeon up here. We'll get the kills that we need. We dive bomb off the cliff with our horse. Exact same strategy as before. Why would I change anything if the previous one failed? The game's totally gonna crash. Spellbreaker catches 50. I know, but the the spell, the that giant fireball is at least gonna hit for 60. And Spellbreaker still takes about a half second to open up the shield. Okay, bandits over here want the smoke. Get off the horse. Pull out my badass sword. Nice. 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 I mean, I mean, just, you know, I mean, exactly what we wanted to happen here. The first fight when I was here was way cooler. Oh, that's my horse. Okay, thank God I didn't blow that. I almost did. Maybe 
Maybe not the worst outcome. I probably got a little bit extra XP that fight because I got uh, damaged a little bit more. Orin, you don't have anything. Could have given myself a checkpoint last time and decided not to. Got 14 minutes left. Plenty of time. Who are you? Where did that where did they come from? This what you want, huh? At least the sword is good. I should sleep more often. Did I level up? Damn, we still didn't level up. Fuck it, I'll take another checkpoint. Okay, there's a small town over there. If I kill its residences, residence, if I kill its residency, if I kill it, if I kill its residence in, then I'll probably have enough XP to sleep again, level up. We get to level 21. We maximize our ability before the big fight. I have a feeling my game is going to crash, so I'm going to save here. Dive bomb, aerial attack with our horse. Launch! That is so ridiculous. Of course, the guy that killed me before is gone. He's not here this time. So the town, what is it, Kynesgrove? No, Carthwaston. Kynesgrove is a different one. I feel bad for Karth Watson. Oh, wait a minute. Karth Watson wants me to clear out that one bandit cave with all of the people that are taking over their mine. I can probably still do that quest. But first, a college student. This is the first time I've seen him actually walking to the Bard's College. Look, I don't want to get in another brawl with you. All right, small little bit of XP. Let's keep it rolling. 12 minutes to grind. I forgot that I got into a fight with them before. <laughs> I didn't know that if you fight him previously, he can be like, oh, I don't want to fight with you. He kicked my ass last time. I remember the first time we fought him, I had to run away from that guy. Okay, Karth Waston. Everyone in town's like, man. Glad that that traveling bard left our town. That guy was annoying. Okay. Sunarok Mine. It's going to be filled with bandits. Hey, what's going on? We're in Never should have come here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, thankfully that power attack missed because it would have killed me. There's a guy, Atar, down here. Looks like he has a good amount of health. I just need to sidestep a power attack if I can. Or he can do something dumb like that. was easy I didn't get a two-handed level up though I need one that or restoration is gonna get me to level 21 anyone else in here no don't tell me that's it maybe they have a locked chest no locked chest no they got nothing in here I got bad news for the people of Karth Waston Nine minutes. Okay, let's turn in this quest. Which one was it? Villain waiting. Da -da. It's probably a miscellaneous quest. Sir, sir, I have saved your town. You'll never believe the news. That won't be the last we hear from the Silverbloods. But at least we can get back to work. You bet you can. You've done a good thing for me and my workers. Here, this is for you. Thank you, Ain. 
Ayan, Ayan, Ayan a thatch? Your name's hard to say. No more. I yield. I yield. Sorry, I, I, I know. I, I just need the XP. It's not a you thing. It's a me thing. Goats? Goats are worth good XP. I don't enjoy this. Trust me, I don't. Oh, you're essential? Cheater. Come here! Thank you for your contributions. I have leveled up. I bid you all adieu. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've hit level 21. Okay, I have to get to sleep and claim my level up before 15 minutes. 15 hours. Go, go, go. Get out of town. I think that that went really well. Who is that? Who is that? Is this guy really running up to me with his hands out? You want a box? <laughs> Can you not see what just happened up the hill? Time for you to die. Okay. Okay. I can't handle that kind of crap talk. Let's go. Come on. Put him up. Why would you do this? I don't understand what the strategy was here. spit on you. Great. Uh, now my horse decides to develop a moral compass. Oh, I, never mind. I thought my horse ditched me. Maybe I could have slept in a bed in the mine. There's plenty of other beds. Isn't there a bed in this mine? Blind Cliff Cave. No, it's Kolskegger. We'll go to Kolskegger. We'll sleep. And then that's it. Our grind officially comes to an end. Napeda, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate you. Troji, is that what we're going with for the horse? I couldn't decide. I thought Bonk sounded nice. But I also thought Trojan. Bonk the Trojan horse. George the second. Why not the first? Oh, that's the sword. I'm forgetting my own lore. There's no beds in here. There's no beds in here. There are no beds in here. Why did I think there were? Am I going the right way? No, it's down the hole. Down the hole to the left. Yeah, it's this way. Five minutes. Five minutes to find a bed. I can't go to Markarth. Can't go to the actual town. Guess I know where we're going. Uh, my game is 100% going to crash, though. Come on, hurry up. I guess I'm just going to go back up to where the, uh, what's it called? The Knights of the Nine were. This bed's over here at this little Forsworn camp, too. It's all right. It's all right. Relax. Relax, chat. We're going to be okay. We're going to make good time. It's coming to the end, though. I'm going to miss this journey. This has been a fun one. I've slept in that mine two times before.
of y'all remember that and I don't? I can remember too many things. Like every item in my inventory, the loadout, the weapons that I'm using, the staves. The enchanted gems that I have. The enchantments I have on my armor. What I put in my left hand versus my right hand. What the enemy has in their left hand versus their right hand. Uh, I feel good on magic and stam. I'm going to go health. And then for my last perk. We could take light armor. We could take light armor and get a buff to it. Can't sleep all enemies are nearby. Looks like we have an extra second to grind here. That one I have to get to level 90. Overpower doesn't look very useful. Two-handed weapons do 50% more damage. We'll take the damage. You guys just said earlier, glass cannon with no cannon. Oh yeah, I like that. That did a shitload of damage. Nice little test of my wit. That's all you've got? Oh, get some. What'd you have on you? This is all valid loot. I can take it. We're not out of time yet. That sideswipe power attack. That was vicious. What are you doing back here healing yourself for? Is that the only ability you have? Hold on. Wait a second, chat. We've ran into this before. I'm gonna keep hitting them. No! No! I meant to just keep hitting them until time ran out. I would just keep collecting XP. I wonder if I, if I sleep here again, will I get attacked? Damn. It was fun while it lasted. I'm just gonna wait out. I'm gonna wait it out. Feed increases max HP. Wait, that's a great idea. I can increase my max HP right before the final fight. Um, give me that. Eat it. Done. Come inside. Save. This is it. This is the loadout. This is the equipment. I'm calling it right here. Perfect call. I'm not going to take the Knights of the Nine Armor. It feels overpowered. It feels like cheating. Does anybody know the COC location for Vokun's dungeon? I don't. I can probably look it on or look it up. COC Vokun's crib exterior. Nah, I'm not falling for it. You're, that was close. What do you think we are? The internet? Yes. Highgate Ruins 03. Highgate Ruins Exterior. Highgate Ruins Exterior. That's what we want. Time. We have had 15 hours. It is officially over. We will now commence a final boss fight. Try to kill the Dragon Priest in here. Hopefully it goes well. No idea how bad it's going to be. COC, high gate ruins exterior. I'm a little disappointed I only made it to level 21. I was expecting to do just a tad bit more. I guess I'll turn on the timer. I'll turn on the timer when we start doing it, but I'm going to run to the bathroom. And then we'll... 
I'll leave the timer on though while we do the fight just for context in a video just of, of how long it took to actually complete the dungeon. I'll be back though. I doing what am I doing sorry sorry Soap level check. Sweet tea? No, unsweet tea. Sweet tea is too sweet, too much sugar. Am I still worshiping Namira? Ooh, you're a little bit behind. You're a bit behind on the worship arc. We have a new god. Although I didn't really do much to help uh, Periite. I also just realized something that could be pretty detrimental to our final battle here. So, I gotta check. Okay, we're well fed. We're refreshed. I'm a little bit cold, but that's okay. We're outside in the cold. We'll be inside and we'll be warm. We do have Namira's blessing. Health is increased by 50 points for five minutes. Health regenerates faster. So we're going in with some buffs. You wouldn't have been able to wear the night armor because you need to have not Unsweet committed crimes. in the south is just called dirty water. Oh, if I wouldn't have been able to wear the armor, then I made the right call. You see, I knew. I knew ahead of time. Let's quit fucking around. Let's go into this dungeon. Is everyone supposed to already be dead? I hear somebody. Oh, you did all the cool stuff for me. This isn't a challenge. Yeah. Who the hell are you? I'm Anska. Are you here to help? Help with what? The dragon priest in here? I've finally located Vulcan's crypt. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Vulcan? Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. I've been saying Vokun this entire time. Vokun? Yeah, what do you mean? I know my character's not asking about the pronunciation, but I am. Some old priest buried here long ago. I've been searching for his tomb for a few years now. Okay. 
What a stupid question. In an Elder Scrolls game, what kind of help do you need? The help she needs is killing things. That's the help that everyone <laughs> needs. That's how these games work. You'd think the Dragonborn would know that by now. Also, we need to hurry this up. I have a buff. Uh, it's not going to last me that long. Great. With the two of us, this should be easy. Okay, well, I'm totally taking that scroll. Um, if I need a buff, I guess I could kill her and then eat her. But we gotta move. My buffs are gonna run out soon. Let's make use of it while we can. What's up, Draugr? Do you mind? I'd rather not... Okay, she's pretty tough. She can take a punch. I don't know if I want to fight her right now. But, like... Just take it easy. Relax. It's all cool. Try not to get me killed, though. Jeez. I'm gonna give myself a checkpoint here, just so I don't have to go through that conversation with her again. Let's move. We got Draugr up top. Chest right here. Sweet. Nine gold. Ooh, ooh. This was supposed to be a challenge, Anska. Anska, wait, no, <laughs> Anska, wait, this was supposed to be the climactic finish where, you know, I, I'm tested and I have to make use of everything I've collected over the last 15 hours. Is that, ma what do you mean is that magic? You're a powerful wizard. Sorry, I can't play second fiddle to you, Anska. This has to be my own challenge. Sorry. I'm actually not sorry, but you're kind of killing my whole vibe. So, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fail the quest, sure, fine, whatever. Not a big deal. I'm gonna take your money. I'm gonna eat you. Nom nom nom. I'm gonna take the buff. I can handle this on my own. I don't need Anska's help. See, I'm like really fast right now. I swear I'm not normally this fast. Okay, uh, Anska. Anska, can I revive you? That doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would have. It slows me down, but it's not deadly. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that's deadly. Why is my magic recharging so slowly? Thank you, Khan, sir. Thank you for making me enjoy Skyrim for the 25th time. Not a more. I appreciate it. I can loot in the cave. I don't know why you guys are freaking out at me about looting. I'm in the cave now. I just can't. I couldn't prepare any more. Right, fine. I won't loot in the cave. I won't loot in the cave. Fine. Do I have to kill Anska? Sorry, Anska. What's the matter with me? What's the matter with me is this is my challenge. What are you doing? If I do the whole thing with you, it's not a challenge. Also, I'm not going to fight her every single time. She's a dungeon mechanic. I'm screwed without her. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We'll go through it with her. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
But I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about this. Now, from here on out, we continue. I won't loot anymore, though. <laughs> I'm taking gold. You're not going to stop me from taking gold. I mean, pretty crazy damage resistance against a drug or white. I still don't like that she can one-shot them, though. It's killing my vibe. Come on, Anska. Ruining everything. Ruin the whole challenge. I can cast obnoxiously explosive powers, too. Yes, yes, it's magic. Yes, I'm... <sighs> I should have thought this through. So much for a final battle. This is a joke. I don't even have to do anything. <gasps> oh, that would have been funny if I got myself killed with a trap. Bad guy in here. Someone do something. You have the power of nukes in your hands. I'm really making use of all the grinding. I'm really glad I did all of that. Take away her magic like she's Ada? I should. Maybe there's a portion of this dungeon... Thank you for explaining to me what Skyrim is. Okay. Fox. Snake. The snake eats the fox. And the whale dolphin... is hanging out with the hawk. How do I know the right order? Eagle. Well, Fox, Snake. That was more difficult than uh, any of the fights before this. <clears throat> I look so defeated and salty. I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little... Like, huh? All of that? I was so excited for this. I was really, really looking forward to it. See, like, I was looking forward to using my abilities and being like, yeah, I'm so good now, I can just chop up these Draugr. I'm so effective in combat. I'm so good. See, like, this is what I should have been doing. You know what, if I run ahead of her, I can at least have fun before she ruins it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You won't catch up to me, Atsuka. I can handle myself. Ow. Okay, maybe I can't uh, exactly handle myself. Just lock her behind a door with the console. I guess I could toggle her AI. Wouldn't... I don't need her. I don't need her. I'm gonna get through this on my own. I can do this. I'm gonna run past. She'll be distracted, killing all these Draugr. I'm the main character. 
Oh, that opens up these. Okay. Oh, God, there's a third one. Now nah, I'm injured. Run's dead. Anska? <laughs> Anska, help me. It's all good. The, the drugger really like flexing. And easy. See, I don't need her. Don't need her. There's traps all over this room. Don't need her. Okay, but that injury is bad. Minor injury health is reduced by 25. So that's about two levels worth. Drugger Overlord? Oh, this could be a good little challenge. All right, I got this. Come on. Can't be that bad. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. Is there another one in here? Dragon White Lord. We'll do a power attack. He'll miss it. Double attack? No. There's the power attack. Stumble. Ew. Still not as bad as I really thought he could have done more damage than that. Especially if I have an injury. I have no clue where Anska went. I think she might have died. <clears throat> you gain levels way faster than I do? Um, I was gaining a lot of armor levels early on. I'm not sure though. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was just habit. Oh, 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 the fight's already starting. That happened a lot faster than I thought it would have. No, 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 no. She ruins the whole thing. She ruins the whole thing. Well, challenge complete, guys. I, You know what? We worked so hard for it. Um, you know, it, it really was, I mean, just a phenomenal, phenomenal ending. Fuck this. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, if you think that's how we're fucking ending this thing. Not on my watch. Change of plans. Change of plans. We're not doing that dungeon anymore. This map is a liar. It's a lying map. We're doing Valthume. Valthum. Valthume? Val Valthume? Val Valthum. We're not doing that one. We're doing a real dungeon. I'm not really sure how to get over there. Does anybody have the COC location for uh, Valthume? That was a joke. I mean, she obliterated the guy. Plus it's in the reach. Yeah, we don't have to go anywhere.
Red Eagle time. <laughs> Red Eagle? Red Eagle is so three hours ago. Man, I, I feel bad though. I did a whole... You know how much effort this took? Do you know how much effort this drawing took me to put on the map? Spent like 90 minutes you, doing that. Sir. Hold on, one more thing. You're, like, you're not Anska. You're like way older than Anska. Anyway, die. I. I. <laughs> die. You're not the real. I... Okay, now that Anska is officially dead, let's do a real Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach. Dragon. Priest, whatever. Who cares? All right, you know it doesn't matter. This is our final boss. We're going through this. We're gonna we're gonna get through. Oh, is there a dragon in here? If this is one of those dungeons that has a dragon. Might actually be in some trouble. would not he be in here? Of the throne? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, see, this is what I wanted. No shot. Almost killed by a trap. Real dungeon, real stakes, real combat. Is that him? Is that the guy I'm supposed to fight? Activate the quest, I thought I did. Fine, I'll go back and talk to the ghost. <clears throat> this is the most me ending to a video ever that the final goal just ended up being a total disaster. With those three vessels, Hevnora can restore himself. Ah, I do have the quest. F uh, collect the three vessels. Find them before he can. All right, we gotta get three vessels. Shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> Slight problem. Slight problem. <laughs> Slight problem. But it won't happen again, because I know what to expect now. <clears throat> Stop making fun of me. Stop it. See, that was cool. When I do it that, that when I do it that way, it's cool. I knew the mud crab would ruin it. That little thing is gonna get me killed. He's so gonna get me killed. All right, the three vessels. Does that mean I gotta kill these little ghosts out here? How hard can this guy be? We just gotta kill his minions. Basic Draugr, easy. Arrows, we'll take him on first. Stop hitting the wall. There we go. Target down. Critical hit saves the day. Come on, bring it. Where are the others? There's two more upstairs.
Too many of these traps. That's what's gonna get me killed. That's not loot. That's not loot. That's just me reading a book. I, I put it back down. I didn't pick it up. Okay, well, the vessel's not in there. I guess I just have to keep going down? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm so mad at Anska. Anska ruined this whole thing. I'm gonna blame. You know, I, maybe. <laughs> part of me actually wants to end this video with Anska killing the final boss. The quest was not activated. Which I knew! Enough with my arachnophobia. Oh, there's a lot of them. Too many damn spiders in here. I don't like it. Trap? Feels like a trap. Maybe I just went the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. I'm just gonna follow where that ghost went. He went over here, right? any shield nothing that I need in there though I already went this way oh don't fall please don't fall think maybe not but it's okay if we're going the wrong way I will learn soon and then I will go the right way Dragger scourge what level is a dragger scourge found out I have kidney stones two days ago these past two streams have been a blessing that's a uh, I'm gonna be honest, that's fucking terrible. And now I'm injured. Now I'm injured. I'm in what the fuck are you injured with? Just die. Just die, you fucking failure. So dumb. So stupid. J Trouble, genuinely, that is that is pretty brutal. I'm sorry. I'm starting over. I'm starting the whole goddamn dungeon over, because that was embarrassing. That was stupid. Over this nonsense. I'm gonna speed through this thing, MLG. Doors barred from the other side. Okay, that's gonna be our exit. Ghost guy in here. Oh shit, trap door. This is totally where all the spiders are, aren't they? Yeah, the spiders are right outside.
Nice and easy. Look at that. Now we're going through. Okay, we're just gonna get through this in one try. Not the not the lockpick, the whole uh what's it called? The whole dungeon. I forgot about this guy. I completely forgot he was in this room. Excuse me. Let's just dodge this one. No, no. Hold fire. Hold. Just wait. You have to wait until the right opening. When you're fighting a Draugr, it's really important that you just make sure you... What, what is my mud crab doing getting in the way? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now he goes back to the... Stupid ass. Wrong way. This way. This is the right way. Now, before my mud crab gets me killed by stepping on the trap. Come on, come on, come on, slide down. Ooh, Death Lord. Okay, Death Lord is actually that's yeah, that's an ebony. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Maybe I shouldn't fuck around here all that much. Wait, what am I doing? I'm dead. Completely forgot about my dog. How could I ignore the dog? It's been the best thing, like this whole run. I just forgot to use it. Oh wait, this is a vessel. Okay, so we got one. Then we came down this way last time. This is where I gave up. This is where I got upset and then I died. This enemy was stupid to be fair. Shit. Oh, hey. Whoa, oh, hey, 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 hold on. You have a limited day. You're going to run out of time soon here. Please fall in the pit. Please fall in the pit. Fall in the pit. Fall in the pit, you giant ice rock. I know, you look really chill. I would like to hang out with you. Gotta go back around this way. I guess I could just run away from them. Leave the dog in the hallway. Oh, that is Dwayne. I do miss Dwayne. I miss hanging out with Dwayne. Probably my favorite follower that we've had. Shit. Ignore them. Ignore the haters. I just need to get to the final boss. That's all. Fuck the rest of this dungeon. I want it to be a cool one on one, like I had with a. Uh, what's his face? Red Eagle. Damn, at this point, Red Eagle is like the cool finale.
dungeon stinks. <laughs> this dungeon sucks. I want to go back to, uh, I want to go back to the one with all the horses or the, uh, you know, what was the one we were doing with all of the, the horse parts? That dungeon was awesome. Oh no. Oh, okay. I apologize. I'm sorry. This dungeon doesn't suck. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, this dungeon sucks. This is easy. Insufficient charge. <laughs> Not for long. You know what the issue is here, actually? Is... Why do you get two attacks there? That was a power attack. And it landed. You have contracted brown rot. Finally! <laughs> my, my god Perryite will be pleased with me. Yeah. You know why this dungeon sucks? <clears throat> you know why this dungeon blows? Okay, well, okay, well, obviously they didn't like me talking crap. This dungeon sucks because it's also close quarters. That dungeon we were in before, there was room to run. There were traps and cool, cool things around it. This one, this one doesn't feel like a finale. Like, I guess what I could do here is run into the enemies in here, kill this guy or miss. Run back this way. Come on now. Crap, oh, the body's laying on it. I fucking hate you. That second attack is so stupid. How do they have the range and I don't? I'm out of magic again. Get off the trap, you idiot. Get off. Get. Is it like a one time use trap? No, oh, how does that hit? There's no way you have that range. I'm running away. I'm running away. Need to recharge. Ooh, George is pricey to recharge. Like really expensive. Okay, so the Draugr Scourge one hits. How did I, how did I fuck up this finale so badly? This is, t this sucks. Like, the, it's just that the last couple were way cooler. Like the last few fights before this were just awesome. Red Eagle, ow. That one dope Dwemer cave, that was sick. Juke. Give me the, give me the thing. Ow. It's all good, I'm just gonna bunch them all up.
Did I make it through there? I think I just speed ran through the whole thing on accident. Da -da -da -da. Ah, perfect. Come on, Scourge. Stop doing it. Stop taunting. I don't know how that didn't kill me. <laughs> I don't know how I survived. Where's the chain? Chain to close it. Fuck you. Don't care. Don't care. Back through this way. Through the big door towards the quest marker. Ah, oh, spiders. How are you alive? Okay, uh, Dragon Claw. Speed run right through it. See? Easy. I love this dungeon. I told you. This is one of my favorite dungeons in the entire game. Iron Dragon Claw. Dragon, Hawk. Thank you, kind wolf. sir. Is it always 2 2 2? I feel like it's always 2 2 2. I'm Holy Moses. Thank you very much for the prime. All right, don't try to be all dramatic now. I know it's coming. Probably a giant ass kicking. Form the very ritual. Don't really care about the ritual. What's in here? Oh wait, I can't take anything. Cause y'all are gonna get mad at me. You're gonna say I'm looting. Does it count as looting if I take the dragon ward? I'm leaving them behind. All right, so the dungeon stunk, but maybe the final fight will be cool. I'm leaving all my hopes on this final fight. I'm praying that it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Trust me, it's, it's gonna be fun. I think. Well, what an underwhelming finish. Liam, I'm doing well. Sorry, I missed that. Do you have an ENB? No, I'm just using community shaders. You found the vessels. I was worried that I had sent you to your death. Yeah, it was a, it was really fun. I really I really enjoyed it. In life, have I, have, I had so much fun. Blood from his body. His goal was to transfer his power back into himself after death, becoming a powerful lich. The vessels contain that very blood. Very well. Empty the vessels into the sconce near... When you have done so, I will unbind... Okay, sconce near the throne. He will awaken in a weakened state. But the lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. Is that it? Is there another scouts? Oh, I'm supposed to sit on the throne. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I can e I can like even look down and see my hands. All right, let's see how bad this really is. Take cover behind the pillars. Ooh, I like that. There's actually columns in here. And he's gonna use a giant lightning strike, so that's probably gonna kick my ass. Wait, no way, that's the only health he has. He's gotta have more health than that. Alright, he can one-tap me, but he's gonna have more health than that. That's, that, I feel like that didn't sound like a lot, that it didn't look like that much health. Activate the sconce. Sit in the throne, then we gotta get it from the throne as fast as possible. Oh, 
wrong spell. I missed. That one hit. Oh, there's no way he's almost dead already. Woo, dodge the lightning. That's no, who hit me? Did he teleport? Maybe he teleports? So is he also, yeah, he must be a glass cannon as well. Get off an attack, get around the corner. Dog, send my dog out. I'm never gonna use my sword on him. Oh shit, that's bad. Oh, that one's gonna kill me too. Oh, this is tough, hold on. <laughs> I'm camping up in this corner. I just have to keep switching. Oh, don't kill me, Mr. Lightning. Oh, don't, he's flanking. Switch back. No, uh, hit, shoot the thing. Oh, he almost got me. Dog, 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 send out dog. Insufficient charge. Okay, hold on, uh, don't mind me, Mr. Lichman, Mr. Evil Wizard dying person. Let me just fill up my staff of dog. Send out staff of dog. just about got me they're both coming after me this is impossible reposition we got him uh maybe maybe not And serve as some reward for your feet here. Am I happy? No. No. I'm not happy. I'm not. I don't even want the mask. I'm sad. I'm sad. That was... That stunk. Now, if we did that dungeon within the 15-hour time limit, that would have been cool. But that was about as underwhelming as it could have been. That fucking sucked. <laughs> no, I'm not that sad. I mean, regardless, I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna call it. But regardless, that whole experience was so much fun. That was that was a lot of fun. Just trying to get, especially today, as time started to really wind down, going through um, what was it? The runoff caverns. Runoff caverns. Got to be one of the best dungeons we've ever gone through. That was a really really fun awesome dungeon i think the highlight of the whole run was certainly basically like trying to figure out how we can use our current build to take out the um the automatrons that just was a lot of fun those were super super fun enemies to fight and then actually doing it that was a blast that was awesome um so i feel like when it comes to the video i'll probably just end it with like Anska going crazy in uh, in the final dungeon and ruining everything. I might end it there. I have no idea. We'll see. That was still really fun. I'm glad we did it. Um, the next one that we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do. 
I've I've tried this a little bit and it's been really fun. But we're going to do uh, Starfield without uh, using a spacesuit. We're just going to run around naked or in street clothes and see what we can do. I have tested it on my own and it should be really fun attempting to like run around on it's it's like the same concept as when we have a countdown timer in skyrim like when we have uh 90 seconds outdoors or or whatever we were doing uh i am going to send you all over to tomato anus who i believe is speed running starfield or at least like learning how to speed run it which should be pretty cool. If you don't know uh, Tomato Anus, their channel on YouTube is awesome. They do like breakdowns of speedruns, speedruns explained, really cool stuff. Uh, remember, be respectful, be kind, don't be a dick, don't be annoying, all that stuff. It was a fun journey, but the end, yeah, that was ass. That was an ass ending. It always stinks when there's a bad ending, but yeah, that happens. That was fun, though. We'll talk soon. Probably going to stream. I might take tomorrow off just so that I can figure th some things out. Um, but we'll probably be back this weekend. We'll absolutely be back this weekend. Talk soon. Appreciate y'all.